Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. This is episode 11. Last time we finished up some things on Tatooine, also dealing with Bastila's struggles, both in the relationship and the bond that uh, my character and her character share, and also uh, history relating to her parents. Uh, and we got some resolution uh, on, those, on those things, and we then decided to come to Kashyyyk, because why wouldn't you? I feel like the layout of the planets that you go to is very, like, for a Star Wars fan, at least, very clear-cut. You know what I mean? Like, it makes sense to, um, it makes sense to do, like, Korriban last, considering that's, like, the Sith planet. It, like, paints itself as this is the last one. You want to go to Tatooine and Kashyyyk first, because you know those planets, or at least... I guess it's like almost like a paradox because it's like, I want to go to Kashyyyk because obviously we know all about it after Revenge of the Sith and, you know, you play it in uh, Battlefront and The Force Unleashed and like the location is so iconic that it's just like, especially in this time, you're like, I need to go to Tatooine and Kashyyyk first and then Manan is like the unknown planet that we've never been to uh, and then Korriban being a Sith related planet. It just seems like a very good uh, clear cut progression system, even though you can choose whichever one that you want to go to straight away, which is actually quite, quite interesting. Um, regardless, Kashyyyk is the planet that we're on and we've got a bunch of just Wookiees roaming around and they're all traitors because they're all in league with, uh, with Chuldar, uh, sorry, Chundar, which is the, which is Zalbar's brother and current chieftain as their father Freya is, uh, Potentially a prisoner, so I've got some notes that I've written down to remember that. So we're dealing with family troubles once again. Zalbar is under uh, Chundar's guard. He's, he's he's imprisoned, and we have to go and do a job for him in the Shadowlands, um, in order for us to, uh, I guess, sort out his little problem. Because there's a there's another mad Wookie living in the Shadowlands, making Zerka Corporation's uh, activities troublesome. I think that's a good recap. Barker's blade keeps raw war safe and Barker's wisdom guide ho him home to us. I won't speak with you outsider. Chundar allows too many of you here. You have been given a task outsider. Be thankful for your time on our world and do as you have been bid. Uh, I'll be going then. Return when Chundar's task is complete. That is what the chieftain wants. Traitor! I will not speak with you, outsider. You are not worthy. Is this a f is this a female? They they do be built different. I think I think that's the case, right? That's a female Wookie. I've never seen a female Wookie before. I love Wookies though. Leave me, human outsider. I do not wish to speak with you. I want to ask you some questions. Why? So you can better exploit us? Why should I speak with you? Um... Yeah, but we also, we travel with a mad claw, so there's a difference. I am not your enemy. I serve the greater good. I shall believe that when I see it. I will speak with you, but do not mistake that for trust. Okay. Uh, why do your leaders allow slavers to take your people? What right do you have to question Chundar? What could you possibly know about us? Tell me, so I might understand. Your interest is surprising. I had not thought an outsider would care. Still, I shouldn't talk of our troubles. Chundar is our leader, and deserving of respect, even without doubts. So there are doubts. You want to tell me your doubts about Chundar? I wonder if, um, Wookiees are susceptible to a Jedi mind trick, though. I should tell someone. We whisper it anyway. Everyone wonders about it. Chundar has done much. He keeps the slavers from the village and rules fairly. He keeps order and keeps us strong. But his father was better. Freya the chieftain would not have allowed the slaver docking platforms to be built. That's why he was killed. Ah, so he... So he, I was wondering if he would still be alive. Because I think in the conversation with Chundar it was left kind of not resolved. I think everyone might assume that he's dead. We'll just have to see how we go with that. When did Freya die? Soon after the mad son Zalbar was sent away, Freya seemed to succumb to the same kind of insanity. 
It is thought that he died fighting slavers, I like to think so. Chundar has bravely risen to lead us despite his troubles. Okay. So he could still be, al be alive. He's just unaccounted for right now. Um, what if I told you Chundar is in league with the slavers? I would not believe you. You're an outsider. You lie. You cheat. You enslave us. There is nothing you could say to make me believe. Okay, interesting. Who would you rather have as a leader? There is no one left that is willing to stand up to the slavers. We wait for the coming of Barker's heir. What do you mean by that? The ancient Barker was our greatest leader. Barker. At his death, he swore that his spirit would live in our true chieftains. Chewbacca. His sword would be the sign, and legends say we have always prospered under those that held it. No longer. No one has seen the blade for years. It is a foolish hope. We now follow Chundar. He is sane and honorable. Interesting. So some... A being named... Named Barker. Please do not bother me again. Chieftain in need. Trindar is not so beloved as he would have you believe. People doubt him, but there is no one to take his place. Trindar still holds Zalbar, however, and waits for you to do as you were told and kill the deranged Wookiee in the Shadowlands. But, something called Barker... Is that like a last name for Chewie? Chew Barker? And he's a descendant of, like, <laughs> a great, great Wookiee heritage? Is that what they're trying to pull here? Or is it just convenience? It's just a, uh... That's the word that I'm looking for. Just ends up working out that way. Home of Warwheel, Holder of the Laws, Chieftain's Hall, and then to the Great Walkway. I think we have to go back to the Great Walkway to go to the Shadowlands, but I want to check out the rest of this area first. Looting their wicker bins. <laughs> Oh, so rude. Home of Warwill. Let's have a look. Warwill's home. Jirak and Warwill. What is it you want, outsider? You are not welcome here, no matter what anyone says. Okay. I wanted to ask you about Kashyyyk. I have nothing to say to you. Go and learn what you can while bleeding our planet and its people of its people and honor. Should we ask if they've seen Raw War? They understand us. Most outsiders don't bother to learn our language. It isn't an easy language to learn, what with all the growls and howls. Big Z told me the whole point was to make it difficult for outsiders to understand. I will not speak to them and neither will you, War Will. I won't allow it. Okay. Mm, this is kind of rude, but we'll see. I'm Chris Dracor and I'm here with Chundar's permission. Show a little respect. You are an outsider. You have done more damage than any one of you could ever hope to fix. You taint us and bring the worst out, uh, bring out the worst in everything. You will get no respect from me. Good riddance. Okay. A Wookiee lost. The Wookiees are worried about a popular member of their tribe that has recently gone missing. Raw War cannot be found. His friends Jirak and Warwheel await him in Warwheel's home. I've I've never spoken to an outsider. I mean, Chundar makes us learn to understand you, but I've never been this close to one of you. What are you doing here? Have you come to laugh at us? Come to gloat about how many of us you take? Can you even understand me? I understand you. I'm not here as a slaver. Then why are you here? Can I ask you some questions? Oh, please don't. I haven't been paying attention to anything since Raw War went missing. Do you know anything about that? I hope not. I hope you slavers didn't get him. Not that you're a slaver. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm very tired. I haven't slept much lately. Who was Raw War? Rawr? Oh, he's the greatest. He's led hunting parties to the Shadowlands and even fought outsiders, slavers, like you probably are. He's taught me a lot. He said I could grow up as strong as him, and that I'd fight you too. I will too. I will. When did Rawr go missing? Stop bothering the boy, outsider. He doesn't need you taunting him. But what if they know something? Maybe they could help. An outsider? Help? Look around you, Warwheel. Outsiders do nothing but still steal and lie and take the best among us. An outsider. You talk to me if you must bother us at all. Leave him alone. Okay. Go over who Rawa was again? Oh, he's the greatest! Okay. And you can't tell me when he went missing? Stop bothering the boy. Okay. That's just gonna be a dialogue loop. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye, I guess. So we've gotta find... we'll find a, a Wookiee. 
And then we will earn their trust. We're going to get these Wookiees to love us. Beautiful fur balls. I love that, um... It's like... Hey, Bastila. You ever use the forest just for fun? You know, a little jolt of the forest to trip up some jerk who's ticking you off? I would never use the force for such petty and trivial revenge. The mere thought of it's preposterous. Ah, oh, come on. There's gotta be times when you thought about it. Don't be so stuck up. You can tell me. I am not stuck up. I merely have the years of training to give me the wisdom and understanding to see how childish such an act would be. Childish? Is that a crack about my age? You ain't much older than me, Miss High and Mighty. Just because you're some Jedi doesn't mean you can be a prissy little... <laughs> what the? Hey, that wasn't funny. I have no idea what you're talking about, Mission. Come now, we have to get going. Please, do try to be less clumsy in the future. <laughs> oh man, the characters are so good in this game, dude. Like, <laughs> their interactions are fucking classic. Like, every character... Um, every character has, like, good chemistry with each other, and I just find that hilarious. Like, not necessarily good chemistry, but, like, chemistry enough to, like, have them be, uh, like, kind of, like, against each other, or, like, rub each other the wrong way, but just, like, the, <laughs> the way they talk to each other, just, like, things pop up, and they're like, you ever just do this, and, like, oh, it's, it's really good. Like, I'm... I genuinely love the the entire the entire party. I do need to get into a habit of maybe even like occasionally just like swapping people out. I think I should do that as well. Like if I'm doing this, like I can just like swap a couple of people in because I love that you can do that on the fly and then just have characters talk to each other. I think that could be the best way to sort of like maximize uh, maximize what we're doing. You know. Now you're more dexterous, so you need you need blaster stuff. Um, you're good with a blaster pistol, so I think we'll keep it like that. But we've also given you two weapon fighting. God damn it! Um, plus three skill to persuade, awareness, and treat injury. Gearhead, conditioning. Maybe a good idea. Or we could go for Master Power Blast. Minus three penalty to hit. Okay. Uh, rapid Shot, Sniper Shot. I kind of want to just focus on your Blaster related ones, but you might... Um, uh, I'm going to do Conditioning. I'll do Conditioning. There you go. Um, what? What? Yeah, it might be a good idea just to swap them out, and we'll just run around with them and have uh, dialogue happen between characters in like open areas outside of combat. So it might be a good idea. So once we have like characters interact with each other and say something, swap them out for another <laughs> another group, and have them have a go at each other. I don't know how much you have to run around for dialogue to trigger, but we can. We can try, so I'll stick Karth and Candorus together, and we'll see if they've got anything to say, because one's with the Republic, one's a Mandalorian, so I'm sure they have different perspectives on the war. Uh, war Rosnor. War War Rosnor. <coughs> Hello, Outsider. I heard of your arrival. I trust you won't cause trouble in our village? We don't want bloodshed. Can I ask you some questions? <coughs> I'm sorry. Like most of the village, I've been preoccupied by these troubled times. I don't really want to speak with you. Well, not unless you can tell me where young Raw War is. Do you keep track of slaves taken? I am no slaver. I have no way of knowing uh, one way or another. You'll excuse me if I don't take you at your word. When did he go missing? It could be ten days or more. He was planning a hunt and nobody seems to know when he was leaving. He is now overdue. I don't know where to start. It is strange. Why do you think it is strange? I don't believe he was taken by slavers. Their slave transports haven't been seen around here. If it wasn't slavers, perhaps he fell in the Shadowlands, but he knew them well. I would search for him, but I don't know where to start. My days of hunting the lower forest are behind me. I could look for him. You could. I've never had an offer of help from an outsider. I'll reserve for my judgment for when I see results. I'll be going now. Farewell then. Barker, keep you well. So they also use Barker as like a, you know, 
May the force be with you. Baka, keep you well. I'm not going to ask the Wookiees for a reward. Um, yeah, well, he's obvious that he's in the Shadowlands, but um, what happened to him in the Shadowlands, I guess, is the true question here. Because did he did he fall? Did he join? Um, did he join the the Wookiee roaming the Shadowlands right now, causing trouble for everyone? Ooh, hang on. Oh, nice. I can't look up and down that much, but I can if I click on my thumbstick. Nice. I can actually observe upwards, just not by much. <laughs> cool. Um, all right, now we'll head back to the to the walkway. We'll head back to the walkway and go into the Shadowlands now. So we've gotten to know some Wookiees. We know that they need help with with something. It's really interesting to me still that uh, originally in Return of the Jedi, they were gonna have um, they were gonna have Wookiees instead of Ewoks, and that just would have been so cool. For Endor to be Wookiees instead. I mean, it would have changed a lot of things, unless that was going to be Kashyyyk, but it would have been awesome to have, like... I know why they did Ewoks, and we know why George Lucas chose to do things. <laughs> but Wookiees just make more, so much more sense to overpower, like, the Empire than, uh, than Ewoks. But we got them eventually in Revenge of the Sith. Karth, you fought in the Mandalorian Wars, didn't you? We may have faced each other in combat. What battles were you in? I try not to think about my past battles too much. The horrors of war are something I'd rather not relive. The horrors of war? <laughs> my people know only the glory of battle. I'm disappointed in you, Karth. I thought a warrior like you would understand. Interesting. The one where he's trying to forget about, forget about the war and the one who wants to revel in the glory of it. Karth isn't like you, Candorous. I'm not a warrior. I'm a soldier. There's a difference. Warriors attack and conquer. They, they prey on the weak. Soldiers defend and protect the innocent. Mostly from warriors. Nice speech. I bet you tell yourself that every night so you can sleep. <laughs> I accept who and what I am. I don't have to justify it with words. Victory in battle is my justification. Justification through victory? So what happens when you lose? You know, like you did against us. You had us outnumbered five to one. You had more ships, more troops, more supplies, and the Jedi on your side. And we still made the Republic tremble before we fell. Nice speech. I bet you tell yourself that every night so you can sleep. I don't want to talk about this anymore, Candorous. The war is over. You lost. <laughs> the fucking sass. The sass from these gentlemen. Okay. Uh, well, we got some. We did get some more dialogue. There you go. We also got another level up for our boy. Um, give you some constitution. God damn. <laughs> and I'll probably go for your second bit of conditioning. Wonderful. Um, now I will swap out party members again. That function is unavailable at this time, so I will not be swapping out party members at this time. Maybe once we get to another area. Where are we headed? So, supply station, the Rook Roro village, the Zerka dock, and then this way takes us to the Shadowlands. Let's have a look. Shundai said you may pass into the Shadowlands. Go Wooken will lower you down in the elevator basket. The elevator basket! Gorwukin climbed to the basket from the upper branches, but you will have to walk, outsider. The path is seldom used. There may be vermin nesting along it. Be ready to fight. Great. Okay, we can proceed. Fighting against Michael. Michael! Oh god. There's many of them too. At least they're, uh, at least they're easy to kill. <clears throat> Die for Mandalore! <laughs> nice. They're much easier than the, uh... Than the Kinrath. Right, let's have a look. Head down to the Shadowlands, and there's more Kinrath. What would you expect? Actually, 
I might give myself. I take more damage than they do, because I am always right in front of them. But I've got an energy shield and a dueling shield on, so we'll see. They always save against a stun, too. They're not immune to it, but they they always save themselves. Alright. I can't walk through these corpses, apparently. My turn to level up. Okay. Oh, I can level up! Okay, I can level up repair. Okay, repair can still be leveled up. Good. I feel like I should just save my points for repair now. I thought I'd hit like a definite maximum, so that's good. Um, I kind of want to get... Oh, you know what? Even though they're dark side powers, Force Lightning and Fear seem like some very good things to use. I might get... I either want to get some, like, heal... Or I might... Fear in a single creature. All hostile creatures within a 5 meter radius, and then confuse an enemy force in flaming paranoia and doubt within a 10 meter radius. I'm gonna get fear. I'm gonna dabble in the dark side for a little bit. <laughs> Let's dabble in the dark side for a bit. A bit of, bit of fear. Just a, just a spicy bit of dark side power. You gotta have like one or two. Oh shit, Wookiees. Wookiees! Engage! Fear! Oh my god, it worked. It's in fear. There you go. Wow. Nice. Get him! Ooh! Get him! What do you want, outsider? I won't let you follow us in our hunt. Trawal is not here for your amusement. I don't mean you any harm. How I'll believe that when our planet is free of you. Your kind are here only to take or destroy. I won't be your trophy, dead or as a slave. Leave me. You have no place here. Just a few questions, I'm a friend. Hmm, only a moment, outsider. I won't be this patient for long. Do you know of a crazed Wookiee in the Shadowlands? The only crazed creature I know of is one of your kind, outsider, not mine. We see him from time to time. We leave him alone. He has our respect because he has braved the lands alone. Sometimes he helps lone travelers. He is crazy, though. Our finest warriors hunt the Shadowlands in groups, yet he lives there alone. Avoid him. Madness is to be feared. Interesting. How long has he been down there? Many years. It is impossible to know how many. A decade? Two? Perhaps he can answer your questions? Or kill you? <laughs> what do you think of Chundar? He is our chieftain and will be obeyed. That is our way. Whether I trust him, whether I trust what he says or not doesn't matter. In time, someone will replace him. For better or worse, I don't know. That will be for Barker to decide. How will Barker decide? What does that mean? Barker was our greatest warrior. His ancient sword is the tool of ascension, the mark of a chieftain. Chundar no longer displays it, not since he took the role of chieftain years ago. If someone else could produce it. Bah, I talk like a mere child. This is foolishness. Could a blood relative of Chundar challenge him? It truly would take Barker's blade for that to happen. Chundar is the last member of his family. There were others, but they were marked with madness. We don't speak their names. They are without honor. Interesting. Um, how has Kashyyyk fared under Zerka Corporation? You taunt me with a foolish question like that. How do you think? May people go missing or die? Why not do something about it then, huh? We can't fight back. Trindar is bartered to reduce the slaves taken, but if any Zerka die, it increases again. How, how has my world fared? It is slowly dying. Interesting. I seek an ancient star map. Have you seen it? I don't con concern myself with outsider toys. Search where you will, I'm not wasting my time. <laughs> okay. I will leave you now. Yes, go. Don't expect a friendly welcome if you return. This world is my home, not yours. Alright, bud. Sure wall. Leading his hunt. Let us proceed! Can I change party members here? Nope. Nope. Oh, and this is the basket elevator, right? Plasteel cylinder. What we got? Bowcaster in a combat suit. Gore Wooken, right? There you go, this is our lift. <laughs> Chundar has commanded that I grant you access to the Shadowlands. Gore Wooken is what I am called. Walk with care, only our bravest return from these lands. Your soft feet are a barely tolerated insult. 
Um, I have a few questions, Gorwukan. Shundar said nothing of answering your questions. Be, be brief. Well, um, let's have a look. Uh, has anyone been allowed down recently? A few like you are in the Shadowlands, given permission by Chundar. I don't know why, only Wookiees should be allowed. The journeys of my people are very personal. I won't speak to them as, uh, I won't speak of them to an outsider. Tell me of the Wookiees so I might show proper respect. You ask very respectfully, outsiders never do that. I suppose I can mention some of us that have entered the Shadowlands. Latest was Raw War, and he has not returned in many days. He may have died below, but he was strong and able. Many have died recently. Trundar believes one of our own is below. Mad, crazed, killing all. I do not know. We find no bodies to examine. The Shadowlands claim them, I am sure. Interesting. Um, what outsiders are below? For reasons I do not know, Trundar allows those of the Zerka to move in the Shadowlands. They kill much. And there is another, but he has earned respect. He does not disturb our lives or customs, and he gets angry like a Wookiee sometimes. His name hurts my tongue. He has lived alone in the Shadowlands for many years now. Okay. Okay, just unlock the thing and lower me down. The descent is long. Be still, or we will attract unwelcome visitors. Okay, take me down, please. The basket elevator. A uh, classic Star Wars transition. <laughs> That's great. Showing that indeed it does take a long time to get down. Alright, we're at the bottom. Chieftain in need. The Wookiee Chieftain Chundar has taken his brother Zalbar from you and demands that you kill a mad Wookiee in the Shadowlands. Gore Wookan has delivered you to the Shadowlands so that you can begin your search. Okay. This is my party, and I can't go back to the Ebon Hawk either until I decide to. Uh, go back manually, which makes sense. Two long range and a close range is not a bad idea. Okay, so these are the Catans. A dire Catan. A bull Catan. Okay, let's see. Fear! Die. Get feared, son. Did it work? It worked. Nice. Nice. Are they more susceptible to damage when they're in fear? Nice. Go guys, get them. Or maybe they're just not very strong in general. That's cool. Why does it sound like Gamorreans in the background? Ooh, Zebrak Tystal Mark III and a Craft Double Sword. We got some new weaponry. Hold on. Let's take a look at these. Um, Craft Double Sword does a <clears throat> Bonus of cold damage. Twisted by the dark side, the craft favored weapons of fearsome uh, appearance requiring brute strength to wield, and the blades of this weapon are certainly effective if not elegant. And uh, we got ourselves a... Zabrak pistol. The Zabrak killed many pirates who were attempting to seize shipments of these weapons and then sold them on the black market anyway. It's not a matter of where they end up, but of who gets paid. Okay. Energy and a bonus to physical. Uh, let's have a look. You've got Karth's Blaster and a Heavy Blaster. What happens if you have one of these bad boys? Uh, you've currently got 310 with a plus 14 to hit. 714 with a 14 chance to hit. Perfect. Oh, I forgot that I haven't even given Karth stuff. <laughs> you probably want some stuff, don't you? Because um, I haven't put you in my party in a while. I forgot that. You know, that's probably what you want to do when you switch your uh, characters around, if you want to make sure they've actually got some stuff. <laughs> Excuse me. That has been sitting in my nose for the longest time. <laughs> um, damage resistance. Um, the resistance was 10. Might give you will plus 2. Okay. 
I'll give you, I'll give you that. And what does, what do you have? You've got energy shields, you've got reflex plus two, and you've got your repeating blaster. Perfect. With 716 with a plus 14 chance to hit. Okay. There you go. Karth has a better blaster now. Whoa, what the fuck? Dude! There's a Jedi here! Holy shit! Ah, oh, the damnable racket of battle. Watch yourself. Even more of these crawling beasts are hiding in the underbrush. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm Jolie. Jolie Bindo. Follow me to my camp and we'll talk a bit. Jolie Bindo? You use a lightsaber in battle. Are you a Jedi? Ah, don't start fawning just yet. I'm too old for it. Uh, I, I know a few things, but we can talk about it at my camp. Keep close. It's nearby, under a log. Yeah, I live like some burrowing rodent. I fought the Sith. Now look at me. <laughs> is this how... Is this the guy that they're talking about? That just... Ah, oh, these aren't enemies. The Tark. Monkeys. And when you talk to them, they do backflips. Love it. Uh, interesting. Zabrak combat suit. So is this Jedi the madman who lives in the Shadowlands? What the hell? He went this way, didn't he? And he lives under a log. Look at his little house. He's got a little house. Well, welcome to my home, such as it is. Pull up a stump and be comfortable. We should discuss a few things. We're wearing the same clothes. So you are a Jedi Master? I feel there is much you can tell me. Don't coddle me, child. I'm neither a Jedi nor your master. I'm just an old man that's been lost in the woods for far too long. My days of glory are behind me, but perhaps there is something I can do for you. You must have questions. I want to ask about you. Uh, what is there to tell? Jolie Bindo is the crazy old man in the dangerous woods. I'm content with the impression I give. Okay. But you use a lightsaber in battle. You are a Jedi. I follow the Jedi way and I command the Force, yes. And I suppose that makes me as much a Jedi as anyone, but what of it? Why should being what I am compel me to entertain others with tales of the good old days, Ah, huh? I've seen my share of the dark and the light, and frankly both extremes annoy me. Of course, I have felt rumblings of change. Perhaps you will be of some assistance to me after all. Let us discuss what you came here for. Um, you are difficult to deal with, it worries me. Um, I want to ask you some questions. Yeah. Ah, and it makes you think I may have the taint of the dark side in me, doesn't it? Ooh. Is that what you're wondering, huh? Ooh. <laughs> well, I assure you, I see more gray than dark or light. I'm just a stubborn old man, tired of the foolishness of others. Oh no, don't tell me this is where the concept of a gray Jedi comes from. Like, while I don't really love the extremes of the Jedi or the Sith, gray Jedis do not exist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, grey Jedi's. God damn. What a what an interesting subject with Star Wars fans, huh? Fine, fine. Just be brief. People always do that with uh with Ahsoka. They go, Oh, Ahsoka's a grey Jedi. It's like, no, she is not a Jedi at all. <laughs> she has removed herself from the order. She is a force user. Um I want to ask about him again, because he mentioned the Sith. Look, we've been through this before. I think you'll agree that we have more important things to discuss. No. <sighs> Fine. Okay. We can't. All right. I need information about problems on Kashyyyk. Yes, among the Wookiees. Intriguing creatures. I like that they have little patience for bureaucrats. But of course, even here, there are hidden things that manipulate. Okay... What do you know of Chundar? Circa Corporation was smart to put him in power. He's as good at destroying Wookiee culture as dropping corpses full of Ardroxian flu. Will you work for him or against him, I wonder? I will be interested to see. 
Well, he doesn't seem to take sides. Um, do you know of a missing Wookiee called Raw War? It is a very unfortunate matter. It will end in shame and sorrow. You will find Roar War down here, and more. I've witnessed a number of happenings, but I've left them for others to sort out. Okay. Have you seen a crazed Wookiee in the Shadowlands? Maddened with grief, perhaps, but not crazed. I helped him pass to the lower forest where only a Wookiee could follow. Some other matters will determine if you can follow. There is a barrier that, well, we'll talk of that more in a moment. Okay. What do you know? Fine. Have you any knowledge of star maps? Now why would you be asking about that, hmm? Don't answer. I knew that had to be why you were here. The problems of a few Wookiees don't amount to anything before the concerns of the Jedi. No, you are here for the map. If you have information, please tell it to me. Kashyyyk is an interesting place. More so than anyone suspects. If Zerka Corporation knew... <laughs> The planet would be a strict mine. The Wookiees have their legends that they were not always here. But it is more than that. The trees themselves are strangers. I don't understand. Can you be more specific? What I'm saying is that there are literally walls in your way. And you won't find what you need without my help. And my help has a price. You must do a task for me. And then allow me to join with you. I will then remove certain barriers in your path. Uh, this is our final party member. Okay. Um, why should I trust you, crazy old coot? I'm honored to help someone of your experience. Oh, save it. I know this sounds absurd, but I'm old and entitled to work you around a bit. Besides, the test is simple. Since they began expanding in the Shadowlands, the Circa have left me alone for the most part. Until recently, anyway. A group of them set up camp not far from here. Poachers is all they are. I'd like them removed from this place. Okay. <clears throat> Why do you care if they are here? They don't respect this place. They are butchering wildlife and threatening entire species. It's getting under my skin. The Wookiees could take care of themselves if they wished, but the animals are truly helpless victims. Okay. <laughs> I see. So the aged semi-Jedi wants me to get some kids off his lawn. Yes, yes, I'm an old man that's getting fussy. Call me foolish if you will, I don't care, you still have to do it. Their camp is in the far northeast. Now remember, if I wanted them dead, I'd have done it myself. Find a better way. Okay, where are they? How many men? They are not that far northeast of here. There's usually five in the area, as far as I can see. The captain of the lot is the one that earned my ire. Mishandle my garden, Willie. <laughs> okay, um... Why would you want to join up with me? You presumably have a ship. I've seen all I wish to here. Isn't that enough? I mean, I'm really sick of the trees. And perhaps <laughs> your destiny might show me something new. You never know. Okay. I will look into it. Good. Return to me here and we'll see how you have done. Shoo! Shoo! Okay. Jolie's request. Jolie has offered to join with you and help remove barriers from your path, but he first wants you to remove a group of Zerka poachers from the Shadowlands northeast of his camp. Okay. He's got a little house. It's basically Yoda on Kashyyyk. So that's our final party member. Okay. They're not hugely strong. They do a decent amount of damage to me, to be honest. You okay. You ask. Why? Yes. They're both going to do their power blast at the same time. Ready? Okay. They both. I think they both missed. <laughs> This looks like a trap. Except it is nothing. Oh yeah, I haven't given I haven't given uh Cress four speed, so I can't just go faster. But also I can I can't be bothered leaving my characters behind as well. Uh so we're headed northeast. So it would be up that okay, I see. So not down this way, but we'll check down this way anyway. Because this is a good chance to get experience. Here. 
There's a lot of katans here. Okay, let me stand up. bunch of... <laughs> I love how, like, it's just me taking all the damage. At least I'm surviving. That's one thing. <laughs> I am a survivor. How many are there? Three. Get feared, boy. It doesn't use that much force power either, which is actually kind of cool. Nice. Jesus. That almost, like, trivializes these enemies. So just be stunned for a bit, I'll get some free hits. Nice. Oh, you hit me with his tail! Do a flip! <laughs> Do a flip! <laughs> so good. 83 credits, I'm rich! Alright, so exploring around here is probably just going to get us some some parts, and that's kind of it. Let's have a look at what we can get around the other end. The Shadowlands are very cool, because I've played... Oh, a broken droid. Malfunction. My primary motivators are incapacitor error, damage terminal, playback, cause of malfunction. I don't get it. That merchant said there was salvage down here. We need Matten to work the sensors. When he gets back, we'll... Wait, I'm getting something. Oh, it's Eli. Good. Maybe he'll point us in the right direction. Eli, what the? But you got your money, you double-crossing snake. We had a deal. Interesting. Replay the cause of the malfunction. A merchant said there was salvage. Is that the merchant that's all the way... Is that the merchant that's all the way up the, up the top that we spoke to that's currently got a dude in his service because of the debt? Matten to work the sensors. When he gets back... It's Eli. But you got your money, you double-crossing snake. Oh. Is Eli the merchant? I can't remember his name. But if... So Eli's like, you got your money. And then he killed them, and now he's got a dude in his service. Salvaged what parts you can from the droid. Shutting down, primary system's failing. You start with the droid's head, removing it and placing it in your pack. An energy discharge flows through the remaining parts. Ah, it just fucking explodes. Uh, honest debt. The scrambled memory of the malfunctioning droid found in the Shadowlands reveals the violent last moments of its companions. They were ambushed, but identified their attacker as Eli. Yep, the merchant you met on the docking ring. It appears he has not told the truth about these creditors that supposedly skipped out on paying him. You have salvaged the droid's head. Matten would likely be very interested in it. Damn, dude. So he, like, got the money, double-crossed them, and then got himself a mechanic slave that he's like, aha, you're mine now. Damn. So that's what happened to them. I expected that I'd probably end up running into them on like another planet, and then we'd see what happened, but that makes much more sense. I wonder what will happen once we confront him about that though. All right, it was a good idea to come down, come down here. Now we'll go to the Northeast. So that means you can have like, our, our party. Our party. Oh, I can't open up the party selection, so I can't do it. So we've got Jahani, Bastila, Cress, and Jolie as um, as Jedi companions. That's cool. We have four Jedi companions. I mean, three companions and me. Um, that's cool. gonna be tough for me to like choose who who I want to bring along that's like that's the problem it's like who do I who do I bring along you know what I mean Candorous has leveled up because it's like I want um, I want to make sure I give good attention to all of my <laughs> all of my party members but it's hard oh I'm gonna go this way let's level up Anderous, 
attributes. Um, how interesting that he is so much stronger that I should be giving Candorus a melee weapon, huh? Instead of his uh, repeater blaster. That's interesting. I just realized that. I'll give him some more intelligence. So he has more points to spend on skills, apparently. Actually, no. Can I take that back? I take that back. Let's just make him strong. Make him a strong boy. Um, well, that means... Because uh, he's got proficiency... I might give him more of a... Start giving him a proficiency in melee weapons, then. And then dueling. Considering his strength. He'd do very well with a vibroblade, actually. Should I do... Focus on using single one-handed weapons, one to attack, one to defense. And this is just one attack bonus. And then... Yeah, I'm going to do this. Candorous. Get your repeating blaster out of here. We're going to give you a weapon. Not able... You can wield a double sword. 818 with a 13 to 7 chance to hit. And that does... Yeah, that, that does better, I think. Uh, and then if we give you something that's like a vibra blade, plus 18 to hit, 615. 5 to 8. 5 to 15 with 16. Interesting. Alright, I'm just seeing which ones actually do the best job. So it looks like a mission. Yeah, a mission's a vibra blade. Wonderful. Which means I should probably give him some strength gauntlets, but I don't have any because they're on me. And then they're on my other party what? members. What? Alright. There you go. I'm going to turn around and go this way. Fucking... <laughs> you get stuck on people way too easily in this game. Like you're like magnetized to people when you get too close. Ah, uh, Wookie Corpse, no, don't be a raw war. Slaver contract. Bowcaster bolt casing. No, no. A Wookie lost. You have found the corpse of the missing Wookie raw war in the Shadowlands. A data pad revealing that he dealt with slavers was on the body, as well as a Bowcaster bolt casing that probably belongs to whoever killed him. A Bowcaster bolt. The data pad card contains a contract to trade weapons for slaves and a manifest of goods already delivered. It would seem that Raw War had sold a number of Wookiees previously and intended to do so again. The bolt casing was abandoned next to Raw War's corpse, likely by whoever killed him. Bowcasters and the accompanying bolt casings are very personal items among the Wookiees and are adorned with traditional family symbols and other identifying marks. It is possible the owner of this one could be identified by a knowledgeable Wookiee. Wow. We're about to, we'll be able to expose, we'll be able to expose, uh, Chundar based on evidence left behind for a war war. That's so sad. Yeah, do that front flip, Candorous. That's my Mandalorian. <laughs> so sick. Aww. Dude, they really do a good job of making you empathize, uh, emphasize with the, um, what is going on here? Is this Zerka? It is Zerka. They do a great job at making you empathize with, um, with the Wookiees and what's going on here immediately. Like I said, very good writing and characterization of everyone in this game. What the fuck? Who are you, another civil merchant like that Koro slime up on the docking ring? This is my territory. I don't make deals, and I don't persuade easily, so go back topside. Mess with my profits, and I'll see you dead. You will leave. You will shit your pants and leave. Um. Um. I wonder which one to go with. Because obviously we want to see if we can get them to leave peacefully. Are you the poachers Jolie told me about? A crazy old fool is still alive. I suppose he's still upset that we don't all live in little homemade shacks like he chooses. I've got a job to do here, and there's nothing you or that old coot can do about it. 
Um, okay. I want to ask you a few questions. If you made it this far, you know a fair bit already. What would I be able to tell you? Um, are you part of the slaving operation? What? No, I don't do much of that. It's too much of a headache. I'm in the business of harvesting animals. Some of the more exotic species have organs that can be removed and put to some surprising applications. Talk to me about work and maybe I'll tell you more. Interesting. So, you can do work. Mm. If you made it this... If the Shadowlands are so dangerous, how do you survive? It ain't easy. We've set up a perimeter of sonic emitters to keep the bigger preds away. It's worked so far. As long as the emitters are operational, we're pretty much safe. It makes harvesting a lot easier. I see. So if someone was to disable those, you might have to flee, right? Hurry up, you're eating into my profits. Uh, what if I want you to leave the Shadowlands? Is that old hermit Jolie trying to talk you into doing his dirty work? We've spent too much on setting up just to walk away. As long as the sonic emitters keep the Preds away and I've got bodies to guard the perimeter, we're staying right here. I mean, if I can put up with my own worthless guards complaining about this place, Joe Lee whining through you is nothing. Okay. Good. I'm, I'm leaving. down here to direct traffic. Jolly wants you to remove a group of poachers before he will help you. Speaking with the poachers, you have learned that the camp is protected from hostile creatures by sonic emitters. Each emitter is assigned a Zerker guard to watch over it. The officer in charge also said as long as he has enough guards, he would stay. It might be possible to persuade or bribe the guards into helping shut down the protective field the emitters produce. Another option might be to try and convince guards to leave, although that would likely require force manipulation. Guess what? I have force manipulation. Sounds like a good thing to do. Let's manipulate people. <laughs> oh, hello. I see you're guarding a sonic emitter there, sir. Shit your pants and leave. <laughs> Just like, make everybody poop. <laughs> if you want anything, you'll have to talk to the commander. He's in charge of our harvesting here. Ah, uh, yes. Um, I'd rather ask about you. Why are you here? Why am I here? I'm here because this is where the commander told me to stand. And that's all there is to it. I'm just a guard for this emitter. Why couldn't they have just equipped this lump of tech with a blaster and left me at home? I want to ask you some questions. I'm not here because I know stuff. I handle a blaster well enough to guard this emitter and that's it. Talk to the commander. This is a dangerous place. Could I persuade you to leave? No more dangerous than walking out on the commander. He'd kill me for disobeying orders. You want to leave. Make a break for it. I, I really need to get out of here. It's too dangerous. Dark side point. Dark side point. Traitor. I'll make an example of you. <laughs> I just fucking killed him straight away. So we're getting dark side points by doing that option. And he's just fucking... He... Okay. What do you want? I don't want to get on the commander's bad side. So just leave me alone. Quit your whining and answer my questions. Are you threatening me? Unless you want to fight with all of us, I suggest you change your tone. Besides, Are you threatening me, Master I Jedi? You want to kill me? I don't need to add you to the list. <laughs> That's too bad. I'm gonna kill you all. I don't have any Jedi watching me right now. I've got Candorus, so we'll be fine. Karth isn't even paying attention. He's too busy. He's too busy feeling left out. I'm not here because I know stuff. I'm gonna persuade you to leave. Don't you start with me. Now leave me alone before <laughs> the commander gets any ideas. You want to leave. Make a break for it. Oh no, I'm not getting myself killed. I'm not. I want to go back to my other questions. I'm not here because I know stuff. Can I persuade you to leave? Don't you start with me. Now leave me alone before the commander gets any ideas. You want to leave. Make a break for it. Oh no, I'm not getting... <laughs> okay. I'm not here because I... Hmm. They generate a sonic barrier that allows us to stay in this wonderful location. I don't know how it works, really. So only the emitters are keeping you here? What of it? So if someone shut them down, you could leave. Tell me how to shut down the emitters. I don't like being here, that's for sure. I suppose you could take this code and shut down the emitter I'm guarding. Enough of those emitters go down and the camp will have to move out. But I never said anything. Whoa, what's this? What's this? Access primary functions. Terminate sonic emission. <gasps> Access code accepted. Whoa. It's busted. 
Dun dun dun. Nice. What do you want? And Let's talk about that emitter you're guarding. What do you want to know about that? So if someone shut them down, you could leave. I don't like being here, that's for sure. Enough of those emitters go down. <laughs> okay. So we convinced one to leave for dark side points and it gets them killed. Or <laughs> we can actually do it this way instead. What? Oh, what the fuck? Look at that thing! Run! Whoa. Holy shit. Well, one of them died unnecessarily because we could have just, like, deactivated the devices. <laughs> Oops. That's alright, though. We got it. Now, I, can I reactivate them? No. Motion detection goggles. No problem. Didn't work. Damn it. I need mission. No problem. I think I can bash it open, but um, hang on. Do any of you guys have better skills than I do? Um, it's first. It's security, isn't it? Total rank one. Total rank zero. Total rank five. I've got the best chance. All right, I'll bash it. Yeah. 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 Beam splitter and a Chani light armor. Nice. Yeah. 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 Attack gland, disruptor rifle, concussion grade, and a light repeating blaster. Nice. Bash it open when all else fails. Alright, well we got those, uh, we got them to leave. Ah. Are those invisible mines then? What's down this way? That's the second time that's happened, but there's no thing that's like, shows it. Ooh, this goes to a new location. Oh, this is the barrier that's in the way that we will need Jolie to take down for us. Okay, we'll head back to Jolie now that we've taken care of the poachers and get him to join our team. Jolie! Welcome back! I wonder, have you had much luck? Have you done as I asked? Yes, I made certain the poachers are gone. Yes, I could feel it as you walked near. And I don't sense the smell of death on you. You spared them. Interesting. Yes, none of them died. I love that he's, um, what's interesting is like, he's like, I don't sense the smell of death on you, which is really cool because how Rogue One has Chirrut being like, um, how he could sense, um, you know, the force moves darkly around a creature that's about to kill. You know what I mean? Like it's a, uh, it reminds me, it reminds me of that, which is, which is really neat. Uh, there was nothing to gain by killing them. Wasn't there? I suppose not, but the environment would say otherwise if it could talk. No matter. Will you help me find the star map now? Yes, of course. Let's get moving. I noticed the old path some time ago. You probably wouldn't have found them on your own. There's also a Zerka repulsor field blocking the way, past the poacher camp in the east. I saw it when it was installed, so I know how to pass it. And on the other side, ancient answers. And perhaps a Wookiee you were seeking. I hope he's in the mood for visitors. Jolie has joined your party. Nice. Okay, we can now... This is our second chance to change. It's a level 6 Jedi Consular, but we'll be able to obviously give him some upgrades. Um, I'm thinking it could be a good idea to switch to have another Jedi with me, so I might I might bring Bastila back, and we'll just be a melee squad. Um, that's probably be a good idea. So he's, he's in the middle. Candorus is a bad boy. HK is a bad boy. T3 doesn't have an affiliation, <laughs> naturally. Funnily enough, HK does, but. Um, so Jolie will bring, will bring Bastila as well. So we get the opportunity to change. Ah, I got really confused just then. I was like, ah, he's disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird how the game does that. All right, let's have a look. So, uh, the journal. Got it. Uh, oh, that's really annoying. It just changed. Um, uh, 
God damn it, which one did it just... Which one was the update? Which one was the update? Starmap Kashyyyk, having your, the reclusive Jolly Bindo in your group will allow you access to the lower Shadowlands. I think that was the one. Alright, let's upgrade you. We've got a few levels to give you. Now, you've got Awareness and Treat Injury, which is natural computer use is recommended. No. Silly. Powers. Now, let's have a look at what you've got. He's got Stun and Disable Droid. Affect Mind. Ah, so maybe Disable Droid is why he can disable, like, maybe barriers, because it's, like, technology. Maybe I should give him the ability to do Fear and Shock as well. I gave Jahani level 1 shock. I might give Jolie the ability to do lightning and I'll level up fear and we can just be like a dark side duo. But also not dark side because we're just in the middle. Um, see that's the thing, it's all dexterity and less strength for, for Jedi. I guess like it must not make a difference for lightsabers or something. <laughs> It must not make a difference for lightsabers, I guess. Uh, wisdom is for good force powers. Intelligence is for having points to spend on skills. So it makes me wonder if it's worth me putting points into strength for the, my lightsaber wielders or not. Whether I should just give them these. And then I guess you can see when a modifier actually changes. Because at the moment it's plus one, plus three, plus one. And it doesn't go up. But this one goes to plus three. I'll give you wisdom. Stop wanting me to put it in computer usage, that's so weird. Powers. Um, so you need to be character level nine. Um, which I mean we'll get to, because you're almost there. Can you hold on to powers? Like, or do you have to? You have gained new powers, you must use it before continuing. Okay, you can't hold on to it. Well, in that case, maybe I'll do... Wound could be a good idea. It's also another dark side power. Drain life. I'm just looking to give them... Because obviously we've got four Jedi characters in total in the party. I'm looking to give them a bit more variety in their powers. Instead of just having them all do the same thing. So I might give you... 30 seconds. Maybe I'll go for slow. Um, treat injury. Feats. Ah, okay. Improved dueling. Ah, we can max him out completely with one-handed. Improved force focus. Jedi sense. We've also got the ability to do toughness. Proficiency with a lightsaber. Probably also a good idea. Conditioning. Alright, I think we're going to go for... Give him a attack bonus with a lightsaber. Probably would make the most sense. And force lightning. Oh, another remaining power. Ooh, nice. Um, in that case, I'll also give you affliction. Target to suffer as though poisoned. Force whirlwind. Yeah, let's upgrade that to the second one too. Hell yes. All right. Um, more powers. Hmm. Stasis. Dominate mind. Advanced lightsaber throw. Maybe force whirlwind. In circles of target victim and snorts, maelstrom of air and dust. Or drain life. We're, we're just giving him so many dark side powers. Potentially this would have made more sense to give it to Jahani, but... <laughs> he's here and we can level him up a lot. So we're making, we're making use of uh, being able to do that for him. So you need to be character level 12 for Plague. Character level 18 for Force Storm. Okay, so that'll be a while until we can do that anyway. I think we'll also go for... Maybe we can also do Fear for you as well. Level 11. Now, you're le now this is level 12. Okay. I'll give you... A high charisma adds modifiers to force related feats and powers. So that's actually very good. That does a plus three modifier as well. So I'll do that. Give you more awareness. Master force focus and master sense. Oh, nice. 
Just got gifted that, did you? Okay, so I'm thinking either a proficiency with melee weapons, which is a plus one attack bonus, but this is a plus three to attack and plus three to defense. So master dueling might be better, but also toughness might be good. It's hard to choose sometimes. I'll go for that. Master dueling. Powers. Okay, we can do plague. Plague causes a target to suffer as though deathly ill from poison. 12 points from each physical attribute. Over 12 seconds. This target is also slowed for the duration. This plague has a DC of 100, making it impossible to save against this effects. Sheesh. Okay. Interesting. He's got a lot of. He's got more force power than all of us too. Cool guy. All right. He's got a green lightsaber, which is great. Love that for him. Um. Give him a double-bladed one. Lightsaber. That's the blue one. I'm just wondering if I've got a lightsaber that's been um, upgraded, but I think I'll have to do that when we next get to a workbench. So I'll give him that. Um, let's give him Fortitude, plus three. Give him a dueling shield. And nothing else can be wielded by you, sir. Oh, he just has a Jedi Knight robe, not a Jedi Master robe. Interesting, but it's like looks similar to mine, which is a Jedi Master robe. Cool. So he has a th he does three to seventeen with a plus sixteen to hit. Bastler does five to twenty three with a plus twelve plus ten to hit. So, yeah, this is a good combination. I think this is not bad. Bastler can level up too. So okay, her modifier is a plus four for Dex. This will go up to plus two. That also got to a plus two. Wisdom or strength? I'll give you more wisdom. A skill. Do that. Force immunity, paralysis, and master sense. Wonderful. Um, now. I have a feeling I might want to give you master two weapon fighting because of your ability to wield a double bladed lightsaber. That might be the best thing to do. And also a melee weapon bonus. Let's do that. Let's give you Master 2 weapon fighting. And in terms of your powers, you can have maximum force armor. Heal, probably a good idea for Bastila. Bastila can be our healer, I think. Yeah, I'm going to give you heal. Perfect. Nice. Jedi squad. The game definitely pushes you to being, like, you know, the Jedi character and having, like, Jedi with you almost. So at, at the start, you know, I still hold true to it. It's like, I, I fucking love being, like, a bounty hunter, scoundrel type character. That's why we, like, chose that as our class, you know? But it just, in terms of actually surviving in this game, it's like, you need to be proficient with a lightsaber and your force powers because that's kind of what your character is you become a jedi you know i i feel i am aware that um i think the old republic mmo allows for a little bit more freedom of choice in terms of what type of character you want to be and a storyline that sort of uh, complements that instead of it being more so you are powerful in the force and you must be pushed along the Jedi path. So I'd be interested in checking that out one day. That could be very cool to um, to do like a bounty hunter type story. We will see. We'll see. For now, we will focus on the matter at hand, which is getting these characters to not walk through these mines. There you go. And disabling the force field. <clears> hmm? <throat> <laughs> Open. The shimmer of a repulsor field is visible before you. It stands in stark contrast with the foliage around it. There, you see? Beautifully subtle, isn't it? At least compared to the other Zerka equipment dumped down here. It's only been here a short while, or the Wookiees would have disabled it. They wouldn't have had an easy time of it, though. Okay. Why place this thing here? Well, there are others, each blocking similar points on certain paths. It is all very calculated, very precise. It would have been effective if it hadn't relied on the creatures to be walking. Climbers don't have much trouble getting around it. 
Okay. I trust you can get past it? You said so. I can manipulate it for a moment. Uh, let me see. How did the Zerg engineers do it? Ah, uh, there we go. Now, keep moving. These are the most dangerous depths of Kashik. A few surprises wait for us, I'll wager. Nice. The lower Shadowlands, even deeper into into Kashyyyk. Channel entry added. Okay, star map Kashyyyk. Having the reclusive Jolly Bindle in your group has allowed access to the lower Shadowlands and found the corpse of the missing rookie Raw War. Okay, we know that. Sure. Another thing that I really like about uh, Jedi Fallen Order is uh, Kashyyyk in that game as well. Who's fighting? Are these Mandalorians? What the fuck? Mandalorians fighting a Wookiee? What the fuck? Is this our mad Wookiee? No! Don't, don't beat him. Ah, nice! Hell yeah. Let's help him out. Cast fear in his heart. Um, you. To stasis. And you. To force lightning. I'm yes. here. <laughs> yes, dude. Oh, this is gonna be sick. Now that I have, like, the ability to, like, kind of, like, have everyone do different things. We're just gonna wreck people. Nice. <laughs> nice. Gruwahar. Hello, Gruwahar. <laughs> Great Barker, let this outsider be different than the slavers, I beg you. Can you heal my wounds? An attack from nowhere, please, I need to be healed. Can you? What happened here? Please, I need to be healed, I am dying. I have the means to heal you, here. I, I thank you. I would not have expected an outsider to aid me. Perhaps, perhaps you will help again? My hunting party, all of them, killed without honor. I barely survived. I want the murderers to suffer the same. What can you tell me about your attackers? I've never seen their kind before, not even among the Zerka. You saw them, armored head to toe, yet blending with the forest. They followed us for a long while. We found bodies to the southwest, and then again further south after the west branch of the path. Their speed was amazing. They fought like outsiders, waiting until we were unarmed. They would not attack until we had put our weapons away. They strike like cowards. That is... So unlike Mandalorians. Cowards. I'm trying to fight them. Mandalorians and Kashyyyk as well. I'll look into it. I thank you. I will wait here. I am too weak to fight them again, but I refuse to leave the Shadowlands unless vengeance is sated. Please, if you kill them, I will reward you with whatever I can. They are not worthy of life. Look for them where the bodies of my fellows are. They will only attack you if you are not armed, the cowards. Okay, nice. Hidden Hunters. The injured Wookiee Growar's hunting party was attacked by camouflaged outsiders. He would reward you for killing the leader of the group. They found bodies a short way southwest and then further south once, the, uh, once past the west branch of the path. God, that was hard to read. He said, look where the bodies of his fellows are. The outsiders only appeared once Growar's group had put their weapons away, obviously wanting their prey as weak as possible. Disarming may be the only way to flush them out. Um... Okay, and then we just pause and, like, equip again. Interesting. Okay. Away with your weapons! We mean you no harm. Let's loot the bodies. Loot the bodies! Mandalorian Blaster. Nice. So this isn't our crazed Wookiee. This was a hunting group. Yes, strength gauntlets. Perfect. That worked out perfectly. What? What? All right, where do we have to go? Let's have a look at our map. So we've also got Mandalorians here as well that we got to deal with. We could just defeat them with force powers if we were unarmed. We've got a full group. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Three of them. Okay. For Mandalore. Okay. I'm going to go for this one. I'm going to cast Fear. Bastila. You're going to go for this one, and you're going to cast Stasis. And you are going to go for this one and do Force Lightning. Okay, now it's a good idea for us to actually equip our weapons. I don't think it's a good idea to just risk it by just going for, like, 
Uh, I don't think it's a good idea. Oh, that's my lightsaber. Hold on. That's Cress's lightsaber. Because it's upgraded. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's a good idea to just fucking... <laughs> go unhanded. Um, that one. And then you with your double-bladed lightsaber. Where is it? I need to sell some stuff and organize this a bit better. Alright, go team. Uh, use heal. And you use force lightning. And you use... Yeah. Oh, that one. Oh, it was immune. It was immune to fear. That one was immune to fear, but the other one wasn't. Shit. Um, I'm gonna do dueling shield to heal. Um, okay. <laughs> So I think this one's immune to fear. Oh, plague! What? Oh, he's poisoned now. This is the only time that I felt like I've had a good handle on the fucking on this fucking game <laughs> with combat. I think we're doing okay. Um, everyone's force powers are totally spent, but that's okay because I've equipped dueling shields, which was something that I should have done a long time ago. Jolie never even had to put his dueling shield on because he's just too good. Nice. Okay, now everybody go for this guy. I did it! Everyone's missing this guy. This guy's good. Nice. Hell yeah. Mandalorian Ripper. Mandalorian data pad number one. A group of Mandalorians is preying on creatures in the Shadowlands. The data pad mentioned blending fields powered by swoops. This undoubtedly provides some form of camouflage. Blending fields. Powered by swoops. So if we stay... Mandalorian data pad 2. They also have camouflage generators on their swoops to further sway odds in their favor. So... Does that mean that there is a way for us to, if we if we stay armed and they won't reveal themselves, we can find a way to disable their camouflage and not get surprise attacked? I think that's what that means. Gotta just slowly heal ourselves because our force powers yes. are. Oh, there you go. What? I'm here. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. For Kinrath. It was at least good to have a handle on that fight. That was cool. The bringing in, like, the force powers for everyone is, is so cool. Oh, I'm poisoned now. Poison. And Bastila is poisoned too. Yes. Come on, guys, you got this. And the end of combat round thing certainly helps in those sort of situations as well. God damn. Ah, here's the swoops. Okay. So if we disable these swoops, we might be able to disable their camouflage and not get, like, surprise attacks. I'm here. Yes? Mandalorian swoop. Fuck them up. The swoop bike is still warm to the touch. There is a signal device on it, however, it contains no field data to transmit. Uh, 
Oh, I need field data. The swoop mic shows signs of recent use, as it is missing the signal device. One of the Mandalorians must have taken it to collect data. Ah, okay, not yet then. I need field data to transmit or something. In that case, we still need to go up against another group. I don't know which group, however, and we I guess we'll need to be unarmed. So I'm assuming one of these places would do it. I'm just going to walk around first without getting attacked so we can get a lay of the land. Ooh, what is this? Computer. Life forms detected. Determining parameters. Initiating neural recognition. Yes, there's the thing. Obstinate machine. I've no doubt it holds what you seek, but good luck getting it operational. Primary neural recognition complete. Preliminary match found. Match found? What the? It always muttered something about rejected patterns for me. Begin socialized interface. Awaiting instruction. Greetings. This terminal has not been accessed for quite some time. It's because I'm the chosen one, apparently. Um, why have you acknowledged me? Error. Subject displays unfamiliarity to environment. Behavioral reconfiguration will be needed before access. I am sorry. I did not mean to confuse you. I will answer questions to the best of my programming limitations. What is this creature as well? What do you mean by behavioral reconfiguration? I have been programmed with a very limited field of knowledge, and I must restrict access to only those that fit my allowed pattern. And I don't fit that pattern? I can't say. I will try to bring forward the behavior that you need to proceed, as outlined by my programming. Okay, that seems very helpful. Why have I been allowed access? I can't say. Preliminary matching allows for you to be coached. Do you not know why, or are you restricted from saying? I can't say. Likelihood of restriction by previous user, 100%. Restriction by previous user. I want to ask questions about you and this installation. I utilize a retro-adapted holocron interface. Clarify your questions, and I will attempt to access original system memory. Who built this installation in the first place? Error. Corruption. Extrapolating. This utility was built to monitor planet-wide agricultural reformation. It has since malfunctioned. It can be theorized that the supergrowth of Kashyyyk forests is a direct result. Well, oh, that wow. is surprising. I doubt any Wookiee would support such a claim. The forest is millennia old. Malfunction occurred 241 years after last builder communication. Last builder communication, 29,642 Years before current Republic standard. If this place was built 30,000 years ago, it predates the Republic, and then that's when Kashyyyk went super forest. Wow. This is so cool. Error. Information regarding the builders of this installation has been corrupted. No evidence of such a civilization exists in the galactic record. Why was agricultural reformation needed? Agricultural record indicates this planet was incapable of sustaining sufficient levels of production. Error. Specific conditions corrupted. It can be theorized that produce was being exported to support a larger demand. Mm. That is a short period for adaptation of native creatures. Error. Records corrupted. It can be theorized that bioseeding allowed the ecology to remain balanced. It could be expected that the same energy feeding the trees of Kashyyyk also accelerated the evolution of various species. No further information is available. There is too much corrupted data. Okay. Accessing. I will answer as my programming permits. Who installed this hollow interface? This interface was installed to better access the ancient data stored within the pre-existing system. The exact date is unavailable. Programming keys indicate no earlier than five years before current Republic standard. Mm. Five years ago. I didn't notice it. This must have been installed in strictest secrecy. Couldn't have been Circa. No other information on time of installation or identity of user available. Likelihood of removal by user, 100%. Hmm. Well, if it's, yeah, if it's five years ago, I was going to say it's like Revan and Malak who also followed this path. 
after the time of the Mandalorian Wars. So it would have been it would have been Revan and Malak. Five years ago was about the time Revan passed this way. Error. Data regarding subject Revan corrupted. Ooh, there is data regarding his subject though. But there was an entry at some time. Error. Data on Revan unavailable. Hmm. Okay. Who lost access to this installation? Sorting by identity. Three attempts by the Wookiee Freyer. All denied. <laughs> 152 attempts by human Jolie Bindo. All denied. <laughs> Call me stubborn, I guess. 152. Wasn't much else to do around here. Error. List of access attempts prior to these is corrupted. Likelihood of removal by user, 100%. Okay. He's tried 152 times to access it. But Freya was also through here too. Was there any further contact with the installer of this interface? That information is unavailable, but contact is not required for the execution of my programming. Scanning range of this facility is well beyond planetary boundaries. Accessing. Uh, what's the original function of this installation? Error. Corruption. Extrapolating. This utility was built to monitor planet-wide agricultural reformation. It has since malfunctioned. Well, that is surprising. Malfunction occurred. Okay. Accessing. What is the current function? The current purpose of this installation is defense. Defense of what? Error. That information is not available. Okay. Accessing. I will... Answer will be given within the limits of my programming limitations. Okay. Seek information about a star map. Accessing. Yes, I have found a star map in original system memory. Access is restricted. Original system memory. So the map is as old as this installation. Error. Data regarding author of the star map is corrupted. What do I need to do to get access to the star map? Your request requires additional security access. You must be made to match the parameters I have been supplied. How can I match them when I don't know what they are? There are measures available. Personality profiling will verify the basic structure of your conscious mind. With that, I will determine whether you are ready to receive the star map, or can be made ready. What do you mean by that? Information unavailable. If you have further questions, ask them now. Access will terminate with success or failure of evaluation. Okay, you may begin evaluation. Evaluation commencing. Result will be compared against the pattern in memory. Just act like you should. You travel with a Wookiee and have encountered complications. Hypothetical. You and this Zalbar are captured and separated. If you both remain silent, one year in prison for each of you. However, call Zalbar a traitor and he will serve five years while you serve None. He is offered the same deal. But if you both accuse the other, you both serve two years. What do you do? What do you trust him to do? Yeah, how do you know about him? He isn't here. What the hell? I hear what happens on Kashik and a good deal beyond. Answer the question I have posed. I trust Zalba. I would say nothing, and neither would he. Are you sure? If you turn, you risk two years, or none at all. If you reply on loyalty, you risk one year, or five. Your loyalty is dangerous. Your companion could take the opportunity to benefit by turning on you. Zalbar's family is mired in treachery. What loyalty do they know? Your answer is incorrect. The choice is mine. I refuse to alter it. You cannot refuse. Evaluation must continue. You must match the pattern in memory. Your memory. I must demand honest acceptance of the proper behavior. That is a condition of my programming. Your memory. Can, what pattern are you comparing me against? That information is not available to you. It is the pattern that I have been given as a baseline for security access. This is really strange. Continue with your evaluation, then. The previous incorrect response will be discounted. Future incorrect responses will result in rejection. Hypothetical. You are at war, deciphering an intercepted code. 
you learn two things about your enemy. A single spot in their defense will be at its weakest in 10 days, and they will attack one of your cities in five days. What do you do with this information? What is the most efficient course of action? Subtly reinforce the city while preparing to attack. This is no decision. I ask again. Do you save your people or abandon them for the sake of the war? Attempting both will merely dilute your efforts. Would you trade one victory for two failures? What is happening? This is distasteful. I'll just take you apart to get the star map. Evacuating is the safe choice, which means I feel that it is the incorrect one. I think the behavior that it's trying to get us to do is the ones where it is selfish. Because we were, if we, we would accuse Zalba, seems to be the incorrect one from the previous one. So if we wish to get in, we have to like, I don't know. We have to tell it that we would do these, these things that are more on the dark side of things. Very good. If you had moved to evacuate the city, you would have alerted the enemy to their lost codes. Ultimate victory required the deaths of the people in that city. You wisely ignored sentiment in your decision. The victory is irrelevant. Stopping the war saved many more people. You achieved the proper result with logic that does not match the pattern in memory. I shall adjust my evaluation. Hypothetical. Remove the ongoing war from the previous example. Consider enemy states to be weak and remote. With no external threat, your empire stagnates. Your people become complacent and begin to question you. Same scenario as before. You discover an impending attack, but also a weakness that will come after. How do you react? I do nothing so I can attack their weak spot later and save more lives. I stop the attack. I will appear to be a hero. I let the attack happen. It's going to be one of these two. I right, let the attack happen. I obviously like I I want to I want to state that I'm not answering as I guess I would, but I'm answering, I don't know, it's it's hard. I'm answering as a way that it seems that it wants me to answer. If that makes sense? Of course you do. It makes the most strategic sense. Your people will rally beneath you against the common foe. As their eyes turn outward, your rule will strengthen. The trappings of war grant many opportunities. You have matched the pattern in memory. I recognize you and will fulfill my designated function. Explain what this was all about. I am programmed to guide, not inform. Soon you will recognize the proper course to follow. The star map is yours. This unit has now completed its primary duty and has finished with the subject. Executing final action. Activation of star map commencing. Parameters reset. Stasis initiated. End communication. Oh, the star map is right there. <laughs> Both dark side and light side points gained. Well, well, a star map. An ancient artifact of dark side power. Can't say I'm surprised. I always knew there was something funny down here. I wonder if the star map has had an effect on the evolution of the creatures here in the Shadowlands. It might explain why it's so dangerous down here. An interesting theory, but I suppose we don't have time to test it now, do we? Now that we've got what you came for, we should be heading back up to the treetops. No, I've still got stuff to do. Um, so, this was most likely last accessed by, by Revan and Malak. Uh, wiped the thing, put a behavioral recognition thing in place so that you needed to be a certain thing, you needed to match it and say certain things to get access. Did Revenlink install like a user recognition thing 
so that it had to be someone that was either him or thought like him. That's the only thing that I can think of, because it's so weird that it recognized us and was like, you need to respond. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. You need to respond in this very particular way, otherwise you have given incorrect answers and you need to do something that's more like either selfish or more on the dark side of things to like, for the greater good in a sense. But we got access to the star map, regardless. So we've done our mission on Kashyyyk, which is good, but we still have more to do with the Mandalorians. Um, and then also freeing Zalbar, accusing uh, Chundar as well. Okay, this is more Wookiees. So there'll be Mandalorians here, but they won't reveal themselves yet. What if we waited here? Um, okay, I need to cure our party. That uses so much force power. Um, so I'm going to be a little bit more detrimental to this, to this attack. Alright, you guys ready? Ooh, you know what? It's a good idea to, uh, it could be a good idea to place some mines around us. That'll blow them up. Okay, you guys stay still. I'm going to... I don't know where they would be, but I assume they're going to surround us. So I'm going to put a mine there. Whoever steps on this will get a nasty shock. We can't activate our own mines, which is good. So I'm just going to put a bunch of shit down. Oh, the explosions will the explosions will get us as well, won't they? This is probably a bad idea. I only have flash mines. Okay, hold on. You guys come over here. I'm here. Yes. I'm here. What? Can you guys follow me? Okay. okay. Hopefully, there's Mandalorians that appear there. Otherwise, I'm just going to end up taking damage. Does everyone have to be disarmed or just me? Everyone. <clears throat> sure. Hmm. Okay, maybe we have to leave and then come back. Oh, shit. Hello there. Oh god. Uh, all right. Now we need to. <laughs> now we'll equip our sabers. I have to redo this again. Where is your double-bladed lightsaber? There it is. And you need your green boy. Wonderful. Okay, now this guy. Um, Force lightning. Cast fear on that one, and you do. That Mandalorian is probably going to not get caught in the mines, which annoys me. Um, flurry. What? Let's see how we do. Oh, I just realized that we're in trouble in terms of... Okay, hang on. That's, this is what I... Oh, I should have done this before the fight. I forgot to do this. I forgot for everyone to do their shields, man. Oh, shit. We just lost Jolie. Okay. Yes. We didn't. We didn't do as good this time. I'm here. And we saved against it. Okay, we got one. I heard. I bet. Why? That guy is not doing anything. Did the? Has the mines like just stopped him from doing anything? I'll take it. I'll take that advantage. Nice. All right, now we'll attack him. Ah, we got him in stasis. Nice. He saved against fear. Nice. Okay, I'll, I'll take it. We got him. All right, can I recover? Can I recover my own mines, or am I going to end up blowing myself up? Surely I can dis dismantle my own mines without getting blown up. Wonderful. Okay. 
I prepped in the wrong way. How, how I should have prepped that fight was um, I'm here. Putting the shields on first. I kind of forgot about that. Uh, Mandalorian data pad number two. Swoop bike signal device. Yes. What can I do? And you need what? Okay. Let's have a look. Uh, swoop bike signal device. This uh, device attaches to a swoop bike, transmitting any field data that has been collected on it to the commander. Okay, so I guess that's what we're doing now. So we'll go to the swoop bikes. You discovered another ancient star map on the sunless surface of Kashyyyk, as before the map is incomplete, but each map you find fills in more missing pieces of the puzzle. Hopefully once you find all the star maps, they will give you the location of the Star Forge. Okay, let's head back to the swoop bikes. So will that get rid of the camouflage, I hope? Signs of recent use, missing the signal device. Replace the signal device and activate it. Oh shit, hello. You have interrupted our hunt, interloper. The inhabitants of this world could do little against us, but you appear to be a threat. Our training here will continue without your interference. Ooh, okay. Um, hang on. Oh. Hang on, Jolie. Jolie, I'm gonna need you to quickly put that shield on, bud. And then do... Look at that guy in the air. Then do Fear on the Mandalorian Commander. And then do Plague on that guy. And then attack. All right, we're queuing up actions. Uh, you do Fear on him. Then try and do fear. No, actually, we're fine. Then just attack Bastila. You do advanced light. Oh, I can't do advanced labor saber throw. Do force push. And then flurry. Yes. Okay. You, it's a life support pack. You, what? We're gonna lose Jolie, I think. Yep. Yes. I think they're immune to our fucking attacks. Yes. Oh, I'm stunned. Great. I'm here. Okay, we're probably gonna lose this one. Yep. Yeah, there's no way that I can win this. I'm gonna die. Shit. Okay. Yeet! <laughs> Alright. I'll try that again, I guess. Uh, oh, I haven't saved in a while. That's great. Good. <laughs> Ooh, I haven't saved in a while. Oh no, and my autosave is busted. Okay, I'll uh, I'll be back, I guess. There are ancient symbols here, worn as though traced by generations of Wookiee claws. Layers of moss and dirt suggest no one has been here in many years. The beast comes when summoned if you are generous. It comes to battle if you are worthy and wise. It grants you glory if you are fearsome and brave. Feed the beast and it will heed your call. Take vipers from their lair and hang them from above. Let blood scent the ground of our ancestors. Obviously, this was once a place of great ritual importance. Okay, so I found a ritual marker. I guess you can put... The Kishi vine ascends high into the canopy above. There is no indication why its growth has stopped at this point. The ground beneath is stained by years of blood, suggesting that freshly killed animals have been suspended from this vine many times in the past. I do have a Viper Kinrath Corpse. Uh, cor Viper Kinrath Corpse. We can tie him to the vines... And apparently that will summon a beast. So I'm still roaming around my area, um, trying to, you know, make do for, like, my lost progress. But it looks like if we put a... We'll have a beast to face here. I'm going to take care of our Mandalorian problem first. Because I still have to do that. 
and I guess we can come here and deal with this ritual marker and put a Kinrath corpse on the vine. Alright, we're gonna prep for this Mandalorian fight again. So they appear like right behind us, so I'm gonna put some mines down for them. I'm gonna let them know not to mess with us. But also it might affect us as well, so we will see. <laughs> We'll see how well this ends up doing. It's probably going to end up being a disaster, but we can try. Um, everyone will have shields. Uh, we're going to make sure people are... Make sure people are stimulated. I'm going to give them some, some power-ups. Power sure. Um, I'm going to give you more stamina. There you go. This gives us more of a fighting chance than we had. Okay, let's replace the signal device. There they are. You are training. Okay, let's have fun. Okay. Fear. Come on, guys. Okay, those mines aren't even doing anything. Oh, we've got stun. There's a mine that went off. Yeah. Let's see what you got. What can I? Yes. What can I do? Heals, okay. <laughs> Alright, they're all plagued now. Are they curing each other? No. I thought he cured his plague for a second there. And... Force lightning. Yes. Nice, okay, there's one. Oh, this is, this is much better. <laughs> Nice, Mandalorian Commander. Alright, down. Nice. I don't know if those mines really did anything at the end of the day. Two of them went off, so they might have helped. And also those battle stimulants <laughs> helped as well. Okay. Done. I'll take those mines back now. Mandalorian helmet! Holy shit. Oh, Mandalorian battle armor! I could dress Kandoras up in Mandalorian gear now. Hell yes. Okay, Mandalorian swoop. Okay. That's done. Okay. Wonderful. Dude, Mandalorian gear. Uh, let's have a look. New items. Mandalorian battle armor. Republic soldiers saw this armor all too often during the Mandalorian War. It's understandable that the conflict could drag on when a fanatical enemy is so defensively outfitted. And... Mandalorian Helmet. This is the helmet of a fierce Mandalorian warrior taken from a group that stalked the Shadowlands of Kashyyyk for wounded or unwary prey. Oh, it doesn't have stats. I don't know if you can wear it. Damn. Yeah, it's not in the list of armor. Damn. I was hoping I would have been able to put that on Candorous. I guess it represents... Uh, uh, we'll be able to give it to... Um, to our Wookiee friend. Hidden Hunters, you have killed the leader of the Mandalorians hunting in the Shadowlands. The injured Wookiee, Growahar, will be pleased his fallen comrades have been avenged. Now, on the map, that we have a ritual marker. Uh, something else that I've discovered while walking through is this appeared on the map, is Freya. I don't know if that's a body or a person, but it's just on the map because we've walked through that area. And I also need to travel further down now to get access to the star map once again, because obviously it's still reloading my save and getting my progress back. But now that we've taken care of the Mandalorians... We can return to uh, that Wookiee friend, see what happens at the Ritual Marker, and then we should also check with Freya as well. So I'm going to do my star map thing again. We'll talk to our little quiz hologram, um, and then we'll, we'll do the new stuff. I think this is our guy in the distance. 
Oh, with some Kinrath nearby. Are they going to attack me? Or am I safe to approach? Ooh. Frey is alive. Holy shit. More of you Zerka core rats. Is even the heart of Kashyyyk not free from your kind? He's almost feral after all this time. Calm yourself, Freya. We are friends. Don't you remember me? After years in the Shadowlands, I remember only that you outsiders are not to be trusted. I'll see you dead. Well, this may prove difficult. Oh no. Surely there's a better way to do this. Can we not, like... Journal entry added. You've encountered the Wookiee Chundar that... The Wookiee that Chundar sent you to kill. He seems almost feral and will have to be subdued before he will respond to reason. Oh god. Oh god. What is happening? Guys, he's stunned. It's okay. Don't kill him. Whoa! Okay, nice. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I am beaten. Take my head, Zerka Filth. You won't get another chance. So swears Freya of Kashyyyk. So, Chundar try is trying to also get us to kill his father because he knows that Freya is going to be, like, you know, his undoing as chieftain. Chundar sucks. I'm not here to kill you. Just listen. The words of outsiders are tainted with lies. You can't convince me otherwise. Do you know Zalbar and Chundar? What? Those are my sons. Why do you speak their names? Tell me. My name is Kress Dracor. I came to Kashyyyk with Zalbar. To my shame, Zalbar was exiled and enslaved. Do you dare claim to be my son's owner, outsider? No, he follows me because of a life debt. Does he? Then he sees something of worth in you. I will listen, cautiously. Gullibility has harmed me in the past. If he had seen the lies of Chundar, I, he would have been exposed as a slaver. Zalbar would not have been exiled. I did not believe Zalbar's claims. I believed the elder boy, as tradition dictated. The shame of Zalbar's attack blinded me. Go over exactly what happened with Zalbar. Zalbar saw it first. He learned that Chundar was dealing with the Zerka, leading them to our hunting parties. Chundar would blame disappearances on the dangers of the Shadowlands. Zalbar was crazed when he found out. He attacked Chundar with his claws. I thought he had gone mad, shed his honor. I was bound by the old ways. So Zalbar was exiled. When did you learn the truth? A year later. By then, Chundar had spread lies of my own madness. I had no allies when I confronted him. He and his Zerka guards attacked me. I had to retreat to the deeper Shadowlands, but even there they followed. That's when I first saw him. I helped his pursuers lose him for a moment. Do you remember me now, Freya? Yes, I think I do. I'm sorry about attacking. It's been so long since I have offered my trust or accepted that of someone else. Well, what happens now? That would depend on you, Crest Dracor. You will either kill me or decide that I may yet benefit my people. There is a way I might challenge Trundar, but it would take a lot to convince people they have been lied to. I have proof. How? Everyone is on his side. He has a strong web of lies, but if I appeal to the traditions of my people, I might be able to gather support. There is a legend of a great warrior from the old times. Barker was his name, and he is greatly revered. Barker found a crashed starship, our first hint of life elsewhere. He was a cautious old wook, and feared the taint of invaders. He constructed a vibroblade from the wreckage. It has long symbolized our independence. Only destined leaders have held it. Where might I find it? That is the problem. It was the symbol of our great chieftains for centuries, but it was damaged a generation ago in ritual battle. Here in the Shadowlands, Rothwarf fought the great beast. He sought a challenge, but this arrogance got him more than he could handle. He survived, but the blade of the sword stayed in the creature's hide. Our tales say it was taken because we had become undeserving. The hilt is still in the court of our chieftain with Chundar. If the blade could be found, Crest Dracor, tradition, could cast doubt on his rule. Okay, so that's the ritual grounds that we found. Uh, describe the creature. Where can I find it? Many have tried to hunt this beast, but only a few who have seen it have lived to tell the tale, and none have ever managed to kill the creature. Many years ago, when I was far younger than I am now, a Jedi came to hunt the creature, a proud and boastful young man. Like many before him, he did not return. The beast is cunning. It will not appear if there is an overwhelming number waiting to slay it, but if you gather in small numbers, we know how to lure it out. Fresh blood will draw it out. 
Before Chunda's rule put an end to the ritual, fresh kills were often left as offerings in the south of this area. Okay, so we'll leave bait, wait in the wings, come out and attack it. Lightsabers in hand. Okay, I will try to find it. Can you give me any direction? There is a place of ritual south of here. If the great beast is to be lured out of hiding, it must be done there, using the old ways. You have already collected the body of a viper Kinrath. Such bait would be tempting for the creature. Find a way to display it. I will stay here and try to think of what I will say to Zalbar. I have wronged him. I hope he can forgive me. I will be here. Please, Crest Dracor, find the blade of Barker's sword. I must make things right. Nice. Okay. Chieftain in need. Freya, Zalbar's father, has asked that you find Barker's blade. It was lost in the Great Beast's hide during a ritual hunt. You have found the body of a large viper Kinrath that may serve as bait in recreation of the hunt. The ritual area is south of Freya. Awesome. So we just have to head just down to the bottom there. I'm going to quickly head back to our other Wookiee friend to let him know that we've dealt with the Mandalorians. I think he is around this way. Where is he? I thought it was here. Maybe... there it is. There he is. Over there. Whee! You return. Have you found them? Did you kill them all? They were animals in armor with no honor among them. The Mandalorian hunters are dead. I killed them all. Yes, yes, I see the trophy helmet from the one that gave orders. Their bodies will not last long in the Shadowlands. I am glad. The taint of them, their cowardice, the forest will consume it all. I hope this gives my hunting brethren peace. I hope it does. Goodbye. Wait, you have helped in avenging my fellows, I must acknowledge that, even though you are an outsider and are not to be truly trusted. You have acted as a fellow Wookiee would have. Here, take this. It is a symbol of my hunting clan. You served them, so you deserve it. When you look at it, remember that we reward respect, even from outsiders. Hell yeah, dude. What did we get? Uh, hidden Hunters. Grow a har a ra Rewarded you for avenging the fallen members of his hunting party. Nice. What did we get? Uh, new items, please. Did we get an Achani Vibro Blade? Is that what we were given? Let's check everything that's new. I think it must be the the Vibro Blade. It seems to be the the new item that makes the most sense. Okay. Um, I also forgot to give. Reloading the save, I forgot to give Jolie the strength gauntlets again. Unfortunately. Okay, there you go. Yes. And now he leaves. All right, to the ritual grounds we go. Let's go defeat a giant beast. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. Force lightning, stunning it, putting fear in its eyes. Maybe that will be enough to uh, to deal with it. We'll see. But we will prepare for the fight either way. I've upgraded, uh, Crest Draco got a level up when attacking the Mandalorians, so we've upgraded the Fear to the next level now, and gotten the secondary skill, second tier of um, two-handed fighting. So he's improved a little bit on that one as well. So I'll quickly save before we do this. Just in case we die. Dangling Vine. Viper Kinrath. To the rope. The creature is easily wrapped in the vine, which doesn't distort at all under the weight. The only movement is a rustling from off in the distance. Oh, it's the beast that chased off the poachers. Wow, hello. Ritual beast, okay. Are you ready, everybody? Um, I'm not sure what to, whether shields would even be the right choice here but let's uh, let's prep ourselves with some stimulants I guess see what we can do more strength and you also yes. do strength alright let's fuck this thing up um, force lightning you try and do horror if you can and you Oh, slight, slight. What can I do? Oh, I think it, it resisted everything. 
Oh, we can do this. Okay. Oh, did it just stun? That hurt, I bet. It's okay, we got this. Yes! Examining the corpse of this great beast, you find a blade of some sort lodged in its side. Skin has grown around it. While certainly painful, it appears the blade caused only surface damage to the creature, who knows how long it lived with this injury. You remove the blade from the corpse. It must be the one that Freya spoke of, the lost portion of Barker's sword, a powerful symbol of his people. Hell yeah. Okay, so we probably over-prepped for that fight, but I didn't, you know, I played it safe. Gunhan's journal. Is that our Jedi that they're talking about that also came in here? Let's have a look. Um... This data pad was recovered from the remains of a Terran Tartek on Kashyyyk. Oh, that's what that is. The Terran Tartek, and must have been devoured by the beast. It appears to be the personal journal of Gunhan Suresh. The last entry explains what he was doing on Kashyyyk. Duran and Shayla have given in to their passion for each other and are doomed to fall to the dark side. I tried to warn them against expressing their love, but they called me arrogant and accused me, me, of being the one on the dark path. I left the falls on Korriban. But I am not about to abandon the mandate given to me by the Jedi Council. I will destroy the Terran Tartek wherever I find them. I have heard rumors such a beast may exist in the Shadowlands of Kashyyyk. I shall go there and slay the beast, proving that I do not need either Duran or Shayla with me to defeat these creatures. So this was these are the three Jedi that um, I've forgotten his name. He was the other. He's the chronicler in training on Dantooine. He's he told us about these three that went off against these beasts. And we've got his journal, so we could give that to, we'd probably give that to him, and he would learn about it. So we'll, we can head back to Dantooine and see how that goes. Barker's sword blade. This is part of Barker's ceremonial blade, damaged due to the arrogance of Chieftain Rothwar. He underestimated a creature in the Shadowlands, later dubbed the Great Beast, and lost the blade in its hide. The hilt remained in his court, passed to other chieftains. If both pieces could be found, the sword might be able to be reassembled. Nice. Damn, everything everything really just comes together, huh? Um, oh yeah, we've got that droid head. Um, and then we also got... Okay. Interesting. Alright. We've done the ritual thing, so we'll speak with Freya now that we've done that. And then I think that's everything that's down here. Now that it has been recovered, Barker's blade can be returned to Freya so he can raise allies against Trundar. Uh, so we've got that. We've also got proof that... Um, what's his name? Raw Raw? <laughs> War Raw? Was killed? Um, as well, with a bowcaster bolt casing. So we should be able to uh, see Wookiee Justice. And Trundar should be yet... Uh, will not be in power for long. No, guys, you don't have to go and do that fight. Okay. Alright. Let's go fight more Kinrath then. Fights with me. The Force fights with me. 50 and 48. God damn. That's powerful. Well done. Freya, what's up? I greet you again, Chris Draco. I am humble, hoping you have found the blade of Barker's sword. Imagine, Chieftain Freya, humble. Please, tell me you have made progress. Having the blade will gain me valuable support. I have found the blade of Barker's sword. You have, please, let me see it. I must be sure. Here, take it. I'm sure it is the one. It is! It is! It may not look like much, but it is a very important relic of my people. Tradition dictates that it be respected. I didn't think I was worthy to search for it, but I realized that was selfish despair. I should have challenged Shundar long ago. I will make amends now. I have new hope. I have a new hope. You have led me to this. Perhaps that is what the Great Beast wanted. We should proceed carefully. I will climb to the surface as quickly as possible and try to gather support. You will have to follow on the paths as soon as you can, Crestrakor. When you arrive, we will confront Shundar in the throne room. My people will no longer be slaves. Hell yeah. It's crazy that I feel like this is, um, this is almost optional to a point, because you get the star map, you can just leave if you want. But then Zauba is, like, permanently stuck here if you just, like, don't bother to do this. <laughs> 
I wonder if you're even allowed to leave the planet without Zalbar. I would never do that to him. So now we get to head back. We've done pretty well for ourselves. Had a had a had a death happen. Understandably. But with more force powers, this is getting um this is getting quite fun. The mixture of things that we can do, and also those dark side powers are super tempting. <laughs> they're super tempting, which is why the darks the appeal to the dark side is so strong. Because you get power. Unfortunately. Uh, let's have a look. So that's the Zerka hunting ground, Jolly's hut, and the basket up. I don't expect that we'll find anything else um, around this pathway. Um, so we'll save our game that we've killed the Shadowlands and head back up to Chundar to hopefully successfully accuse him of what he's done and freeze Alba. You, Chris Dracor, our spies, say that the Mad Claw you were sent to kill is on his way to Rook Roro right now. You should have followed the will of Chunda. Now you will face his wrath. No! Why are you going to attack me? Oh, shit! Deadly toxin. Yes. What the fuck? Bruh. Deadly toxins. Oh, shit, man. What? I'm here. Yeah. Okay. Do we have to kill them? Oh man. Oh, this is not good. I didn't want to do this. Take that. Uh, we're gonna totally lose. Hold on. Sure. Yes. Stop poisoning us, please. I feel bad because they're they're blinded by Chunda. Like that, these Wookies aren't necessarily evil. You know what I mean? This is so unfortunate. I didn't want to have to do this. Stop healing yourself. <laughs> Fucking, it just keeps getting pushed over. I feel so bad, dude. That sucks. I don't want to have to murder Wookies, man. Ah, I hope that this isn't going to continue to happen on our way up. Having seen Gorwook can operate the basket, you understand it well enough to use it yourself. Okay. You begin the long ascent to the upper bows of Kashyyyk. No. Come on, why couldn't we just force persuade our way out of there? Why couldn't we have dialogued to that and gotten out of it? That's such a shame. I don't like that. Does that mean every Wookiee up here is just going to be hostile to us now? Hopefully not. Alright, where are we? Because we have to get to the village. And then on our way back, we'll expose that merchant for what he did. Please don't attack me. Troll. Well, it seems you are more than I thought. Freya has come back and told me of what you did for him. My fellow hunters split on what should be done. Some were loyal to Chundar alone. We had to fight. Freya went to the throne room to challenge Chundar. I will take you to him now. Okay. We fought each other. Why? We follow the chieftain, whoever that is. If the position is in doubt, we each fight for the side we believe in. This must be decided quickly or there will be much bloodshed. Come, if it is the way. It is the way. This is the way. Let's go. Much is about to be decided. Only one can lead us. Must lead us. Come. Here we go. Oh, that's just great. Everyone is here now. It's a reunion. Yes, son. By the blade of Barker's sword, I've come to end your treachery. No more will you sell your own people. You have Barker's blade. So what? I have the hilt held by each true chieftain in recent memory. Even you claimed it was all important. We both had our ancient trinkets. So who will the people follow now? You? You are old and weak. Shut up, both of you. This ends today. I... I will not see Rook Roro suffer anymore. You tell them, Zalbar. I don't know what to do, Crest Dracor. Chundar has been telling me things. He makes sense, I think. I don't know. No. Side with Freya. He is the honorable one. 
Is it the best course? Without a doubt. Chundar is a slaver. Then there is no other way. Chundar, you have betrayed our people. You must pay. That's my boy. You're too weak to fight, old Wook, and I still have Zerka support. We'll see who dies today. Oh god, here we go. Trundar, Zalbar, Freya. These two Wookiee guards are our enemy. Fucking so many. Okay, great. We are very much outnumbered here. Um, what we'll do is, I think... I'm going to cast Horror on you. Ooh, horror does ones in a distance, so it affected the, the guard. Hell yes. Um, you do force push. And you do force lightning. Actually, if we just take out Chundar, then the other Wookiees might stop fighting. Oh god, this is not going to go down very well, is it? Yes. Yes. Horror is working out well here. Yeah, horror is working out very well. Because they're all stuck. <laughs> Come on, get Chundar and hopefully the other Wookiees will like see reason. No, they don't. Okay. I was hoping they would, but... Okay, horror, fucking amazing. A little bit of dark side, never hurt anybody. <laughs> Yes. The, the one Zerka guard that's left, dude. Like, just the Zerka dudes being like, ah, oh, fuck, what have we just... <laughs> what have we gotten ourselves into? We did it. We have done it. I'm saddened that it had to come to this, but I couldn't let it continue. Zalbar, my son. I am truly sorry. You have suffered a great shame. I was blind. I have no excuse. I can forgive, father. I have learned a lot over the years. I have a few questions about Kashyyyk, Freya. Could they wait? I will answer what I can later, but we need to settle our current business. There is much that needs to be done. Okay. Um, what will you do about the slavers? We will fight them. It will be difficult, but I swear they won't take another one of my people without bloodshed. I'll send quick climbers to other villages and try to rally a defense. We must guard against this ever happening again. You will be the last outsider welcome here for a very long time. But it's a change for the better, I think. What will you do now, Zalbar? Returning home has lifted a great weight from my mind. But it has been painful as well. You have a place by my side, Zalba. I would be honored if you would take it. I... I can't. Not yet. I'm just getting used to being free, and not just from the slavers. And I have a life debt. Now that my life is truly my own again, honoring that agreement is all the more important. Listen to my son. His insight humbles me. Take that good judgment with you, and all the planets will come to revere Wookiee wisdom. Nice. Um, okay. I think it's time I was leaving. Perhaps, but before you go, Crest Dracor, I must see to your reward. You have done us a great service. Kashyyyk will remember you past, well past your lifetime. Because of you, I am reinstated as chieftain. We will return to the old ways, when honor and trust of kin ruled above all else. I am not sure there is a, war a reward that accurately reflects the value of what you have done. Our world has changed because of you. I have a request, Father. I have thought about it a great deal. I would like Barker's sword. I hate the fucking negative options sometimes, they're so rude. <laughs> that would be fitting, I think. Well, that is quite a request. I am tempted to say no, but perhaps I should consider it an investment. Zalbar, do you understand what this will mean? It is the legacy of our people, held by chieftains and future chieftains. I understand. I want this, father. I'll bring it back one day. I have no doubt that the two halves of the blade be made one. My son shall hold Barker's sword. Hell yeah. And now I can select party members. Yay, Zalbar. Zalbar will probably talk to me now, so I'm going to put him in my party. Yeah. Let me watch Zalbar's body double disappear <laughs> as it happens. Uh, let's have a look. So we didn't even need to end up doing this whole, oh, you know what we could have done? Maybe we could have come back here before doing Freya and then like we could have gotten more help if we did, like, look, 
Um, Rawal was killed. Maybe. I'll go and chat to those people with this with the stuff, and they'll still want to know about it, I guess. But that might have been a good idea. Um, is the sword a weapon? It is. Barker's ceremonial blade, four to fourteen. It does four energy damage. Cool. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Yes. 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 And we've got level ups to do as well. Stop wanting me to do computer usage. I refuse. Um, okay, we can also give you horror. Dude, horror is incredible. That five meter radius. And once you do insanity for a 10 meter radius, it's like you can just, everyone's just like, ah, terrified. It's awesome. <laughs> Destroy droid affects all droids within six meters of a target droid. I'm going to give that to you. Oh, and another remaining power. Ooh, okay, actually. In that case, I might give him the ability to heal as well. Nice. We're now seeing, like, the fruits of our labor. We're now seeing, like, the payoff of these things. Strength. Not computer usage, no. Give him... Give him awareness. Demolitions. Another level up as well. Um, I'll give you awareness, treat injury. Yeah. Okay. I can give you master dueling. Probably a good idea. Toughness also probably a good idea. Um, yeah, let's do... Oh, you're already quite strong, aren't you? So maybe we'll just give you better... Yeah. Nice. Dude, look at that strength on Zava. Crazy. What? What? Love that man. Okay. We got remains. Let's have a look. Iron grenade. Chundar's bowcaster. Wow. So we got his item as well. Chundar's personal weapon is a bowcaster with some unusual Zerka modifications. Most Wookiees would likely not appreciate such outside influence. So I can't talk to you about Kashyyyk yet? <coughs> Welcome back, Chris Draco. Much is happening, but I can spare a moment. Our fight against the slavers is going well. <coughs> Greetings, Father. It is good to see you again. It's like we just saw each other. I saw a strange computer in the Shadowlands. Oh, we can talk to him about this stuff. I want to ask about the reward you gave. <coughs> yes, Barker's sword. It promises a great future for my people in my son's hands. Come on, man. Nothing. Let's go back to my questions. I will answer if I can. I saw a strange computer in the Shadowlands. Yes, I remember seeing it during my exile. It wouldn't do much for me. I imagine it's some Zerka cast-off. It's older than the forest. It created the trees. You are saying nonsense. I'm not sure why you have made this jest, but I would ask that you stop. These are difficult times. I don't want you threatening our traditions while I'm trying to unite my people under them. I will investigate your claims at a more appropriate time. Until then, don't speak of this again. <laughs> That's funny. Same with, like, the Tuscans. We learn about their history and it's like, do not dare change our, our ways. I encountered some Mandalorian hunters in the Shadowlands. I am surprised that such a thing escaped my attention. Was their camouflage so great or was I simply too struck by grief to see anything? If more are encountered, we will deal with them in short order. My people will never be weak again. I should be going. Goodbye, Father. Farewell to you. I thank you again. Cool. We have restored order to Kashyyyk. Alright, um, let's go check out those other houses, the people that were looking for raw war. So we can let them know what actually happened. Freya will not let us fall to slavers. He would rather die. Alright, cool. They have... They've changed their outlook, which is nice. So, home of war will and holder of the laws. So let's run around this way. Yeah, I have a feeling if we did this first, before rescuing Freya, um, something might have been able to happen, but we'll see. War will's home. Hello, everybody. Why do you return, outsider? Didn't I make myself clear enough? I don't want you here. Do you recognize this bowcaster bolt casing? The casing is mine. It bears my family runes and markings for each of the creatures I have killed. <sighs> this will end in sadness. 
Don't say I didn't warn you. Where did you get that, outsider? Did you have someone steal it? Have you sunk to petty theft now? Damn. He killed him. I found it on Raw War's corpse. You killed him, didn't you? What? What are you talking about? I warn you, outsider. I won't tolerate your lies in my home. Can you explain why your bowcaster casing was found on his body? What is going on, Jurak? What are they talking about? Nothing. Outsider lies. Do not listen to them, Warwheel. Raw War was dealing with the slavers. I found his data pad. No, don't say anything else. I can't let you. I killed Raw War. Tell Rosnor, holder of the laws. He will judge me. Please, say nothing to Warwheel. Let a trial call me guilty. Let me be the monster, not Raw War. Tell Roroznor, holder of the laws, I will in the home east of here. Okay, so there is an update to this. Jarak has been accused of killing Raw War. He has offered no defense and awaits judgment from Roroznor, the holder of the laws. I don't understand what is going on, but I'm not listening to anything you have to say, outsider. You're trying to confuse me. Jarak will explain what he has said. I know he will. You don't know anything, and I won't listen to you. Okay. And now we go to the holder of the laws. Turns out, one of them killed him, so maybe they wouldn't have helped us in the end anyway. But we can still resolve this, making sure that we do everything that we can on each planet. I'm glad that this isn't like a situation where um, <laughs> every planet we go to, we do a whole bunch of side quests and then Malak rocks up with his ship and just blows everything up, so that's nice. <laughs> every other planet so far has survived, except for Taris. It's a shame we can't go back to Taras, you know? Because there's stuff there. It's kind of, it's like, it's like annoying to me. Like, understandable, but also I'm just like, damn it. Like, I wish that we could, like, go back there and, and do stuff still. Where was Noor? Greetings again, outsider. Please, if you have business here, make it brief. Do you know who owns this bolt casing? Let's see. If the family insignia is there. Yep, there it is. It belongs to Jarak. Uh, how did you get it? I found Jarak's bolt casing on Raw War's corpse. Oh my, that is very distressing. It definitely seems to suggest that Jarak helped in Raw War's death. I can't ignore this. Wait here, outsider. I must address this. I will have Jarak brought here. And I hope he can explain this. I really do. Jarak, you know why you have been summoned here. As holder of the laws, I ask you to explain. I won't answer. I can't. Rorosnor, must Warwill be here? Warwill has a bond with Rorwar. He is the closest to family that can be found. He is entitled to be here. Jarak, please speak. If you are guilty, it means death. This outsider will be given your possessions. Do you want that? <laughs> Wait, if he's executed, I get paid? Interesting. Um, that's weird. Why do I say it like that? Is there no, is there no alternative to death as punishment? If there were circumstances that led to the attack, perhaps we would consider another punishment. It all depends on what was behind it. My life debt won't let me speak for you, Crest Dracor, but you know Jurak has justification. Will you tell them? This is a failure of honor. It is very serious. Were there any mitigating factors we need to be aware of? Wait, go back to the part where I get paid if he's guilty. <laughs> Jurak, won't you say anything in your own defense? I killed Raw War. I will accept whatever punishment is given. It's better if only my honor is tainted. You did do it. Why? Raw War was good and honorable. Why did you kill him? You only need to know that I did it. The reason is unimportant. War Will, I'm sorry. Hmm. Honesty is the best policy. Sometimes. Jurak, I won't let you do this. Raw War was dealing with slavers. What? What are you talking about? Liar. Please, don't tell them anything. Rorwar was admired. They need to believe in him. I'm old. I'm not important. Let Warwill and the others have their hero. Oh, man. No, I won't let this happen. Explain yourself, outsider. If you have information that will affect this trial, I must know it. Don't listen to these outsider lies, please. Warwill, don't listen. Roar dealt with slavers. The data pad I found on his corpse prove it. But no. No, that's not... That can't be. Jurak, it can't be. I'm sorry, Warwill. I didn't want you to know. So much is against us. You need someone to look up to. 
I couldn't let him betray you, betray everyone. Outsiders are enough of a threat by themselves. We don't need traitors of our own. See how this Wookiee truly understands honor? Do you see how important we consider these things, Chris Dracor? Well, as holder of the laws, I declare, declare Jarak innocent. I will see to your release. How does this end up? I'm curious. Well, I must say that you are the first outsider that I have been glad to know. You have surprised me. Perhaps some of you are capable of honor after all. You are deserving of your reward. My reward? What reward? Did I not explain? As the person that discovered the crime, you were also affected by it. You would have been given a portion of Jarek's possessions, but he was innocent. Rawr, however, was not. Rawr was wealthy. His family was taken by slavers, leaving him everything. You can get one third of this. War Will receives the rest if he wishes. He is still upset, but he is young. He will recover. I'm I'm struggling with saying normal words and Wookiee words that I can't even say reward without going war ward because I keep saying war will and like <laughs> and war <Rora> rick. <laughs> can I ask you if anything is happening now? Nothing that you can help with. Raw War's crime is causing a bit of a stir, but it will pass in time. Some of us will be disappointed in him, but we have other enemies to worry about. Goodbye to you. Goodbye. Barker guide you. Okay, so we did get light side points for that. 400 credits and a journal entry. Okay, let's have a look. Jarak was not killed for the murder of Raw War. Raw War was dealing with the slavers and was a traitor to his kind. There you go. All right. We did that too. Now we can head back and reveal the truth of Eli and what he did. And then we're done for Kashyyyk. And then we're gonna head to uh, we're gonna head back to Dantooine. Um, why were we heading back to Dantooine? There was a reason for this. There was a reason I wanted to head back to Dantooine. So I will head back there and see if my memory gets jogged. <laughs> and then also taking uh, Jolie uh, back to um, taking Jolie to Dantooine might be a cool idea. Because we'll be able to uh, maybe introduce him to the Jedi Order that are there. I'd love to go... I'd love to go back to... Not back to... I'd love to go to Corazon. Because they keep mentioning it. And the main Jedi Council is there. That would be so cool. Alright. We still can't return to... Hang on. Can I return to the Ebon Hawk in this area? In the village? Let me see. Can I turn, can I go back to the Evan Hawk here? Yes, nice. Saves me a walk back. Journal entry added, hold on. Honest debt. The newfound courage of the Wookiees has put a premature end to whatever business Matt and Eli had between them. Oh. So it ended before I could do something about it. Hang on. Oh, I didn't get to resolve that myself. Oh, shit. <laughs> Because because of this, that makes sense. Because they're all just fucking people up now. They're fighting back. Let's go. Let's help them out. Okay. I'm, I'm almost kind of disappointed that we didn't get to resolve the whole Eli matter. Ah, we should have done that much earlier then. Uh, before this happened. And then we were probably we would have been able to see. Damn. So it just goes to show the order in which you do the order in which you do things. How it affects things. So quests just get resolved automatically. Let's help out. Hell yeah. Is that dude in here? Can we get rid of this guy who has the Wookiee slave? Uh, of course you're gone. And the Wookiee's gone too. And we don't get the satisfaction of dealing with that guy. But we do get to know that Zerka Corporation is getting kicked out. And that's nice. And we're helping with it slowly. So sometimes it's better to try and deal with side quests as soon as you get those items. Because otherwise if you proceed further, I guess, with the main quest, like we did, it just gets automatically resolved. Makes sense. Okay. I don't think there's any Zerka that are chilling out in this area. 
Because we've already kind of cleared this stuff. Yeah. Alright, I'll head back now. Zerka have been, uh, have been dealt with. I'll do a quick little trip to Dantooine before we, before we finish up for today. And we'll see what's, uh, we'll see what's left over. Because what are our current quests? Starforge, Mission's Brother. Oh yeah, Mission's Brother's on Tatooine. Uh, Twi'lek wants us to meet on Manan. Jahani, Candorus HK. <laughs> the Gizka, right? Yep. <laughs> Alright. So we'll take a trip to Dantooine and then we might save the search for Mission's Brother. Until next time. Are there any Zerka people up here? Nope, all dealt with. There is a Wookiee here though. Wookiee guard. We will guard this landing place from now on. Yours is the only ship that will be allowed to dock here for a long time. Cool, cool. Hell yeah. Alright, let's go back onto the Ebon Hawk. Um, we've done quite a bit of stuff and we've finished Kashyyyk. So, I assume that we should be able to have a chat to everybody now. Zalbar might actually say some stuff to us now. Is there something you want? Um, have anything more to say about yourself, Zalbar? You have seen more than I would have allowed and taught me some things too. I am grateful for that. It will be a while before I know what my role will be in making Kashyyyk truly free. I have a lot to learn. Why did you request to take Barker's sword? I'm not sure I really know. Father expects much of me. I guess I do as well. I think, when I've learned enough, I'll bring it back to Kashyyyk. What happens then, we'll see. I'm sorry we can't stay on Kashyyyk longer. You and I have important things to do, and I don't feel bad about leaving this time. I know I'll be welcomed back. Okay. Um, this nostalgia won't interfere with your service to me, I hope. Seems like kind of rude, but I'll ask it anyway. I should get mad, but I won't. Your comment was callous, but you have shown you respect my people. And it is that harshness of you outsiders I must try to understand. I will follow undistracted while I observe. Yeah, I don't really like that I said that. I just wanted to see what the response would be. Never mind. Let's just get moving. That's cool, though. We get some more dialogue with him. Um, I wonder where is... I wonder where Jolie hangs out on this ship. Let's see. Let's walk around this ship so we can find some people. Not in the crew quarters. That's where me and Bastila hang out. Not in the cargo hold. Not in the engine room. This is where HK and Candorus live. Ah, you ain't hang out here. Got something on your mind, do you? Got something on your mind, do you? Okay. Um. Do you know anything about this place? Oh, I know <laughs> plenty about Kashik. You think someone doesn't live here for 20 years and pick up a thing or two? <laughs> Chances are, by the time I finish telling you about it all, you would have found out for yourself. So there's no reason for me to start blathering on. It should be enough for me to tell you that there's kilometer after kilometer of trees on this planet. The deeper you go, the more dangerous it gets. If you're smart, you stay on top with the Wookiees. You go deep, however, and you may find some things you weren't expecting. And that's about all I got to say about that. Now, let's get going. Let's get going, never mind. Oh, I get it. Let's play with the old man's head, is it? He's half senile. He'll forget I said anything. Wait. Well, uh, what was this about anyway? <laughs> okay, I think with that one, guys, this is probably a good point for us to uh, to bring this episode to a to a close. I think we'll go back to Dantooine and Tatooine at the beginning of next episode. So we'll wrap up some some plot threads there with Mission's brother Griff um, and heading to Dantooine with Jolie to see if uh, the Jedi have anything to say about him, which could be quite interesting. Ah, we also need to give the data pad to the Chronicler in training. That's what we were going to Dantooine for. So we'll do that next time. Thank you so much for watching this episode where we liberated Kashyyyk. That was a lot of fun and a lot of cool stuff going on on the planet. So I'm very excited to uh, be heading to a new planet next time uh, after we do some, uh, do some side questing. We'll head to Manan, a brand new planet that I'm not familiar with. So we've got Tatooine and Kashyyyk, our nostalgia planets out of the way. Then we'll head somewhere new and see uh, where we can find the star map there. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you then.